His name's Rhapsody, my name's Teak, and welcome to... Actually, we don't know yet what to call this. It's something new. Rhapsody and I have been collaborating now for coming up on... We're, we're approaching the year mark in just a couple months now. And we spend a lot of time deep diving into games that we play fairly constantly. But we also wanted a space to explore new games and to have that kind of spongy experience of learning together. So we'll talk more about that. But before we do, Raps, how you doing, boss? Could not be doing better. I'm thrilled to finally actually have a look at Lock Be a Landlord. And also mm. really, really excited to be doing a kind of like different pace of content. Obviously, neither yeah. of us are going to have an item come up on the screen and go, oh, I know this one. Okay, that one's particularly good in this circumstance and it works in this way. Um, instead, There's no insta-click. There's no insta-click. There's no dead branch for us yet. It, you know? <laughs> we will find the dead branch of this game. Do it's not here. worry. It's here. There's a stick. Yeah it's, yeah. it's entirely possible that this game does have a reference to the dead branch and then we'll yeah. know that obviously has conferred the same level of value. Um, now, you yeah. did you did uh, mention that we don't necessarily have a name for the series, so uh, we obviously are in, imploring the possibility of suggestions based on the context we just provided, but... Yeah, let us know. I would like we to be the first person We were joking before the stream of, of calling it Raps Teak and the Gladder Peak, but I don't also just want to make bad rhymes all the time. Yeah, what, what, well, what, what do we call this thing? Okay, my first suggestion was going to be Raps and Teak take a peek. <laughs> okay, well, you, but but that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty I, good. I, I peak like, was too much. I like take Gladder Peak. peak. I like the idea uh -huh. of trying to include the the yeah. full rhyme across the board of Gladder Streak, uh, and the it's... joy thing, right? Because it's it's about it's about the joy of learning. That's always what I'm seeking. Is the the, the utility is is enjoyment ultimately. It's it's a it's a fundamental belief that it is not only fulfilling and valuable, but also simply joyful mm -hmm. to engage with something new and to learn and to have aha moments and to grow within that medium. It's the superlative part of it that is mm -hmm. that rings slightly wrong in my ear. Right. And it's just that this is a gladder peak than what other, <laughs> right? Than, 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 uh, than the other version of us, than other... Other creators? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was thinking like, who's who's like looking at Luck Be a Landlord for the first time with quite a dour tone? Uh, <laughs> yeah. What it needs yeah, to true. be is Gladdest Peak because then right. you don't have yeah. to contest against right. anyone else or contextualize it in any way. That is just yeah. the utmost. Um, yeah. But in case you aren't familiar with Luck Be a Landlord, don't worry, neither of us are either. Hell yeah. Never played. Uh, although I will say uh, one of the uh, projected formats for this series is to have the cameras. There is no great place for the cameras in this game oh, yeah. in particular. So we're, we're kind of inviting you into like a construction zone. It's kind of cool. This is, this is, I think, the beginning of something beautiful. Definitely. I am Bye. afraid I'm going to have to <laughs> wave goodbye, though, as the cameras Bye. disappear. We'll be back at the end. Oh, oh, yeah, 100%. Got the uh, we're still scenes here. set My up. My studio lights are still on. Same, actually. I find that uh, that helps keep me focused in a way. It's kind 100%. of like a, th there is almost a Pavlovian response to lights on, time to be on as well. Yes. All right. So, so I know luck be a landlord. absolutely nothing here. So I know it's a tiny bit. Do you, do you, do you want to like, should I give some exposition? No, I shouldn't. I Let's, let's just play a, a mm -hmm. round or two and then we can talk about it. Sure, sure. Uh, so we can see what I imagine is our money up here. We can see our goal, which is 25 due in five spins from now. We get a new email that mm -hmm. says, Enjoy your stay in our apartment complex. It comes with a complimentary slot machine. You can use it to get goals, <laughs> which you can use to pay your rent. Speaking of which, your rent is 25 and is due in five spins. Good luck, your landlord, Landy underscore McLandlord at bouncy.mail. In the beginning of that, you were almost Vlad. <laughs> Enjoy your stay in a new apartment complex. It comes with a complimentary neck bite if you report to my <laughs> chambers. Yeah. So I guess we just click spin then. <laughs> There's one action. I'll talk about that because I, I have these, these emergent thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is our draft system, I guess. Uh, do you get one of these in between each spin, I imagine? I, I think so. I think so. So we're offered crow, common, gives two gold, and I'm I'm fairly certain that this means gives two gold when it comes up. We're basically building a deck of of slot machine icons. 
Mm -hmm. but it also loses us gold every four spends. Right, so the expected return from that, if it comes up every single time, is 8 mm. minus 3, 5 over the course of those four turns. But if it doesn't come yeah. up every single time, you've... In fact, if you miss it more it's weird, than right? twice, <laughs> you're suddenly making a loss on it. Unless, unless you're only missing it on the fourth spin. Yes. Yeah. Then you're completely yeah. fine. Even in the best case, though, the return here is not incredible, right? It's, it seems pretty basic. Mm -hmm. Three-sided die gives a random amount between one and three. Okay. And there's the cat that just gives a single one. The expected return that's the best here is the three-sided die. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So on an average of four spins, we'll take four spins as the basis because we have the crow, right? This is going to sure. give us four. This is going to give us five. Uh, well, actually, it really depends on how often they come up, and we don't necessarily know yep. that just yet. Yep. Um, but the three-sided die itself, on an average of four spins, should Eight. it come up every time? Yeah. It's pretty good. A hell of a lot of value right there. Let's click that one. Oh, actually, it's we nice can even time. check these base ones. Flower gives one. Yeah. Coin gives one. Cat gives one. Diamond. Adjacent suits give one more. It's uncommon itself. And then the three-sided die. So you don't even place them into the, the slots. Nope. They nope. automatically go. All right. It's a random shuffle. Okay. So we do get another shop Seed. every single time. Common mm. gives one gold, has a 25% chance to grow into various other fruits. Mm -hmm. and the remaining two, cherry and goldfish, are both common and give one. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, it seems mm -hmm. like the seed is just... I mean, unless any exciting. of those are bad, it could just be <laughs> right. better broadly. Which they may be. I mean, that plum is is up to no good, I'm sure. Oh, we can actually see them. Oh, we can oh, look. Bad. Adds a banana peel when destroyed. So I imagine that's like the removal mm. from the deck. Cherry, coconut gives one. Adds two coconut shard when destroyed. Yeah, this has think a... Of the galloping sound from, from the quest for the Holy Grail when I see the coconuts. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. You got two coconuts. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be the seed, right? It's, I think it's, it's got seed, expected yeah. positive results. I think we just take the things that are most exciting hmm. to us for the first few rounds and see what they make. We can more seeds. Let's do we're, it. We're making a farm. We're playing Stardew. We said we were playing uh, Luck mm. Be a Landlord, but actually we're going to be playing Stardew. Sorry about that. Destroy well, flower goes in our farm. Jason Smug. So that's a thief. Uncommon gives negative one gold. Gives four times the gold lost from this symbol when destroyed. Interesting. Interesting. So the destruction effects are, are cool because we haven't seen anything that destroys yet. Mm -hmm. So there's this promise that destroy is coming. But we've not yet made such a thing occur. We've got a little more information here at least though. Yeah. We know that there are 25 symbols in total. Uh, and 17 of them are empty at the moment. We're going to be filling right. the empties individually as well. Okay, cool. So five if we five. can see the the board is, is, is it three down? What? The, the, the slot machine itself, right? Does it demonstrate 25 symbols at the same time? I think so. I think it's a five by five. So you always get everything? Oh, that's a good point. Can you... We should try to overdraft in our first few games if we're able to. I, Let's that's do a it. good question. Like, can you have so many that they don't always show that's up? Four by five. So it's they're a four by five. So you won't even see them all. Yes. Yeah. There are five that disappear, which okay. is you know entirely necessary for the other things like the cat. Well, not the cat. The the one that would have given us a negative had we not rolled it. The crow. Mm. Yes. Or the thief. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm wondering like, are we even seeing below? I suspect that it's actually generating a five by five. And that even when you have less than 20, you still won't see them all every time. Because yes. some of them will go below. It seems quite likely to me as well. The new email from the uh, Landy Milk Landlord <laughs> is, Hello! Your rent is due. It's time to pay off. Thank you, your landlord. <laughs> landlord Dracula. I mean landlord. It's not a contextual history for considering landlords to be vampires landy mclandlord why will you only meet with me with all the lights off it's very <laughs> strange landy mclandlord why do you not like it when i eat garlic before we have a discussion i don't understand I love it. garlic it's why don't you 
Your rent has increased to 50 and is due in five spins. Good luck. Okay, so I imagine the, it's the just The landlord has noticed increase. our success. Mm -hmm. This is predatory rent behavior. Yeah, exactly. They're scaling our rent to our income. Mm -hmm. That's right. Except our income is based on gambling. So, I'm sure it's fine. Manny, oh. Uncommon, Ooh. uncommon, uncommon. There's a chance to grow into a chicken, which gives two gold <laughs> itself, which has a chance to give us an egg. And a chance to give a golden egg, which I imagine would probably be mm. a golden chicken of some kind. This seems a pretty reasonable pretty, option for it's us. It's pretty cool, and it can continue producing. That's the interesting thing that's different, right? It doesn't become an egg. It produces an egg. Mm -hmm. Especially with as many blank spaces as we have at the moment, and the fact that mm -hmm. we really wanted to try and overload. I think chick is probably our choice here. Yeah. And there's the hex. 30% chance to take gold instead of giving gold, and it gives three. So, but... About, about a third of the time we lose three yeah so okay. the expected value over the long term for this is something along the lines of just two per just two right right and but it's interesting because it's uncommon and you know my my lizard brain sees uncommon and it's like it's rarer so it must be better but that's not necessarily true mm -hmm. it's... maybe it's just more synergies Oftentimes, I, I know in many card games the rarer things are just meant to be more situational yeah, they're, we talk about that Inspire. Exactly. Yeah. They're really, really powerful in the right situation for them, but otherwise, mm -hmm. not necessarily. Mm -hmm. Red pepper, black pepper, coin on a string. So we're not destroying anything just yet. Mm -hmm. And also, we definitely don't have every symbol being different with the amount of cherries we have. It's true. Is this our first skip? It could be, but we could also just take a coin on a string and then That's it true. has a chance of being destroyed. Yeah, that's not bad. That, that's a good idea. So we get just a little bit more money. Oh, interesting. It's that was that was different. Did you notice what that was? Yes. It so it randomized it's like a relic. Oh, oh no! It I showed up on the side. Ah. So it wasn't even an actual symbol on the board. God. Do we tell because of the different art that it's an item instead of a symbol, or does it say item? These Different all color. have red backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's red and it's gray. Or got it. Blue, teal, aquamarine, greenish. Color. It's definitely a color. We can Minor. commit to that much. Destroys adjacent ore and big ore. Oh, man, the toddler's funny. If we had taken candy and Fortnite pinatas, then it would be very strong. Damn. The, the pinata itself would also give more candy. Oh, wow. That's... Oh, but is pinata rare or something? When you moused over uncommon. it? Uncommon. No, it's uncommon. Okay. Maybe we speculatively take the toddler. Take toddler. That's fun. Sure. It's Toddler's One thing back. I've also noticed is, uh, you know, if we assume there is a fifth, right, line directly above right. us that just isn't demonstrated on board and also doesn't right. generate results... Uh, what we're actually seeing here is previously there were two cherries next to each other over on this side. Over on this side, there cannot be two cherries next to each other. So it actually completely randomizes them. It's not just a normal slot machine where like a single line is filled with the symbols that they are filled with. And then you'll see them in right. a different order based on the way that it rolls. You're just getting completely new screens. Yeah. Wait, we... How do we have... So we... But we don't have three cherries. Uh, yes, we do. We had, uh, I think both seeds grew into cherries and we both had one by base. Both seeds a cherry? Okay, okay. Because yeah. I was, then I was looking and I was like, oh, is it just a percent of occurring? Like, okay. Yeah, the, the, the whole spin system is kind of interesting. It really is. It's the kind of thing that we're going to have to, you know, sort out exactly how it works so just we can capitalize clicking. on it. Mm. Um, is that a spirit? Yeah. Wow. I mean. Huh. It's not a bad card. Gives one whenever it's, it's destroyed. It'll give us four, four times. Yeah, it's the urn. Three-sided die gives us more jambling synergy, I mm -hmm. guess. I'm good either way. I just don't want this banana peel. Let's go urn. I think we're probably going to sure. start taking uh, anything, pretty much, that gives yeah. us the ability to start destroying because we've got a lot of yeah. garbage on here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Candy, it's here. Hell yeah! So this also pebble. Hmm. I'll uh, I'll read the goose. You can have the pebble. 
The okay. goose adds a 1% chance of adding a golden egg to the board, which is going to give us three each time it's rolled. That also doesn't have a destroy condition. Interesting. It's just golden eggs too, unlike the chicken. It doesn't give us regular eggs. Mm -hmm. And then there's shiny pebble. This is a common, these, these are all red. So these are, these are, these are symbols. Gives one gold, but more importantly, you're 1.1 X more likely to find uncommon, rare, and very rare symbols. So presumably if we pick up some pebbles, we start getting more of the really rare items that can make a, a super strong build, potentially. Mm -hmm. Although, I don't know, that's, that's not a huge increase, you know? It's not a huge increase, but as you say, like if we get multiple of them, we're starting to stack them yeah. up. Yeah, and then we've we've got a stew going. Mm -hmm. I like your popcorn approach there too, by the way. You get the goose, I get the pebble. Hell yeah. We give the candy to the toddler. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the ability to pay we off made our rent. rent. Exactly. Yeah, good. These don't cost you anything to buy, right? This is literally just a selection. I think they just cost us one of our slots, right? Oh, interesting. It's the opportunity cost in the late game or something. Mm -hmm. If we had taken the miner, this ore has minor synergy. That was a symbol that was offered earlier. Unfortunately, that we, we do not take. have that. But we can see some yeah. of the, the stones that were produced. The void stone adjacent empties give one more. Destroys itself if adjacent is equal to zero. Gives eight when destroyed. That seems like that's really good early game and really good late game. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, Pearl, Shiny Pebble, these kind of all scan I guess I would normally kind of on expect the all of the gems to just be really good. Mm -hmm. And it certainly seems like that's the case. Diamond build is there. Yeah, but exactly. We, Trying to capitalize. We don't have the miner. We don't have any way to destroy this, this ore yet. Mm-hmm. Nor do we have any cheese to feed to this mouse who would destroy adjacent cheeses and give 15 per. Wow. Wow. We need a cheese mill. <laughs> cheese. What do you call a place that just makes cheese? A uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with cheesery because I like it's the only other one that came to mind was cheesemonger, but that's a person who sells cheese. Sorry, I mean, they <laughs> mong cheese. I'm, oh my God. <sighs> I mean, the expected return from the snail doesn't matter if it's rolled at all. It just gives you five yeah. every four spins, so... Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I I have no horse in this race. I feel like I'm just we're just kind of clicking until we until we lose to gain maximum information, right? With these first few plays. Definitely. Hello, your rent is due. Pay up. Thanks, your landlord. Uh it's been increased to 106 spins. All right, All right Landy. Hmm. But why is it that you asked me to bring down my my picket fence? What was wrong with my fence? You don't understand. The council has a law about fences over 2.2 .2 meters tall. <laughs> Wealthy capsule, what's this? Yeah, that's, that's just itself, a boost of 10. Gives 10 when destroyed. It's 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 purely influx. I mean, there's peaches here if we want to resume our farming. It seems like we are going to need to farm a lot faster. We've got six spins. We've got a hundred that we're gonna have to have total oh there's hex of destruction if we just want to start destroying our map oh i just assumed this was the same as the previous hex that was 30 no, percent chance not to oh i assumed too but then i read it just in case let's let's do it yeah I'm and then we it. have oh, our okay. item another another non-symbol mm -hmm. do you want to go for the first oh. and third that's okay sure 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 i oh i'm the first ah watering can a common item, seeds are 100% more likely to grow. And you're but the looting glove. They always grow eventually. I guess it's so that as soon as yeah. you get a seed onto the board, it instantly grows into something. It makes me wonder if there's some other item or interaction that's producing seeds. Uh, we've seen a few things so far that it's like, there's no way you're keeping up with this by drafting. Mm -hmm. You must be making it somehow, right? Unless you have like the ability the to gain additional drafts somehow. Mm, yeah, yeah. Although even then, I don't know if you'd be able to get as many seeds. So yeah, I think I think it is definitely a source like that. Uh, there's the looting glove here, which gives us the ability for chemical seven, wealthy capsule, lockbox, safe, and treasure chest. Oh, sorry, and the mega chest to give one point four, chest. one point five rather. Sorry, more gold when destroyed. That's oh, cool. so that's just a buff to those uh, individual pumps that we were talking about previously with the wealthy capsule. Yeah. 
because yeah, yeah. each of these are just destroy themselves and give you money. That's interesting. And just happens once, but you're starting to put a multiplier on it. That seems like the kind of thing that would at least get you to the mid game, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's a piggy bank here at the end. You put one gold in this item each spin, one coin, coin. You may destroy this item and gain two X the coin inside of it. You may destroy like on purpose. That's an interesting. Oh, cause it's an item. It's not a symbol. Right, right, right. right. Yes, true. So you just click it and pop it. Hmm. Interesting. So, but you're only putting one in each spin unless there's some other way to do it. So yeah, exactly. It's like, feels like massive opportunity cost compared to the looting glove. It seems exceedingly slow. Let's take the looting glove. Mm -hmm. Oh, destroy the baby. We destroyed the baby? Oh no, Raps. That's not good. It didn't destroy the baby. What's the baby even here for? It's destroying candy and... I mean, it hasn't even got the candy destroy yet. Destroy the baby. Destroy the baby. <laughs> oh man. We don't need that one. Oh dude. We got our first rare here, Raps. Mm -hmm. A it's tomb. A Tombed gives us three gold, has a 5% chance of adding a spirit, which destroys itself after giving uh, as many, and adds five when itself is destroyed. I mean, I think, obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to get destroyed. We're going to get five spirits. We're going to make buku, buku dollars. Whoa. Ooh. Okay, you, you, you first and third this time. Sure, sure. Golem gives zero itself, but it destroys itself after five spins, adding five ore. Whoo. Whoa. And then like, okay, so this basically says, if you can make your next rent payment, then we'll help you with the one after that. Yes. It's a two, it's a two payments loan. Seems damn good. Pretty nice. Toddler here in the middle, we know what it does. We've seen it before. Mm -hmm. Five-sided die. It is the five-sided of the three-sided die we've seen previously. <laughs> uh, so now it's worth more. We expect three instead of two. Mm -hmm. So it seems as you go through the rest of the game, they increase the rarity of the symbols that are provided to you. It rather does than... seem like we're seeing more and more rare, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, so the toddler, we already have a toddler. We could try and focus mm -hmm. on a toddler build, but I think like it's probably better to just take one of the uncommons. I'm I, leaning I five-sided die. Okay, cool. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was leaning five-sided die just for things. gold. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I think we'll make the next rent payment. I'm I'm feeling optimistic. We definitely ought. This, this one's might be simple. a skip. This might be a skip, dog. Let's do it. Yeah. How many blanks have we got? We've got eight blanks left at the moment that give zero per. And no, we want to have space of being able to take, you know, uncommons and rares past this point. If we could just get a little bit more destroy, you know, oh. that would be. Ooh, did we? Did we get? We an destroyed egg? something and it became a chicken. We've destroyed oh, egg a hatched. cherry. Oh. Egg hatched into a chicken as well. Do we have a chicken before? Do we have two chickens? We we got an egg and then the egg. Oh, we got a chick, okay. I think, maybe. And then it hatched okay. into a chicken, okay. which I think now gives us the ability to get more eggs. We're, so it, it was kind of a slow payout. We're certain things are happening on the screen. We know that. <laughs> that that <laughs> much is certain. Sure <laughs> we have go die this time? a banana peel. So I don't know if the monkey is going to be huge. Destroys adjacent banana peels. Mm. Uh, sorry, bananas, not banana peels, rather. Um, coconuts and coconut shards, it looks like. Gives gold equal five times the value of the symbols destroyed. Oh. We don't really have any synergies to play into that. It doesn't destroy banana peels. It will make them. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's, let's we go for the five side banana destroyer. Ooh, we lost another cherry there. Hell yeah. That actually means we're running a build right now that is actually a Pure Highlander unique. kind of thing. A mm -hmm, singleton deck. Mm -hmm. which, which would let us take that one thing we skipped before. Mm-hmm. So you may want to try and lean into that. Hex of possible. tedium. <laughs> this item. <laughs> I misread it for us. I was like, oh, it's the pebble, but better. But no, it's the pebble, but opposite. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have a, a build likely. that's heavily based huh. on destroying things, maybe you just get money out of hex of tedium and then it dies eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's 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 giving you value now. That definitely feels like that might be part of the balance in this game based on what I've seen so far is taking the right amount of, uh, I don't know, we'll call it front-loaded gold mm -hmm. to deal with the challenges that we face on the way to perhaps our, our most difficult in-game challenges, the bosses, if you will, but then enough scaling synergies to be able to deal with those. Definitely, definitely seems so. I don't know if we need to mm -hmm. take the Hex of Tedium, though. 
Yeah. We, we certainly have this rent payment down. Let's do it. But gosh, we have to do 12 total payments. They seem to, um, they're growing super linearly. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 150 next. Well, it was 25, 50, 100. It's got to be 200 then, right? Yeah, I worry that it may actually just be doubling. Nope, 150. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's that's good. So they just... We can literally have just rain. We can just harvest the weather and put it in our <laughs> slot machine. Adjacent flowers <laughs> give you two times more gold. Adjacent seeds are 50% more likely to grow. So that's kind of like a, a seed and flower build. We're not really based mm. in that world at the moment. We're kind of a destruction build ish. We're random builds. <laughs> it's got stuff. It's true. We're not necessarily going to be narrowed down the line of anything just yet. Yeah. I'm going to take a wolf for value. Well, rain is same value as wolf, right? Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> With additional potential farming, I kind of oh, part of me. Ooh. All right, I Let's will. Uh, I'll take the lucky cat. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, so red pepper we've seen, um, but I'll read it again because we didn't take it. Gives five coin if every symbol is different, and right now they are. And then to do the uncommon one last, comfy pillow. Oh, sorry. Comfy, to do the cat last, rather. Comfy pillow on the right. Uncommon. If you have one spin left before your rent is due, you may skip your next spin. If you do, at least two of the items to add after paying rent will be rare or better. That's wild. That's like, if you're really confident in your rent, then you can just get super, super clinch. Clinch? Clutch items for your end. You can clinch your end game with clutch items. Mm -hmm. I. <laughs> but I'm not confident in our rent next time. Truthfully. Yeah, that, that's going to be a bit rough because we don't necessarily yeah. have like any thematic already going in the deck. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I mean, the red pepper itself, like this is not a symbol, right? It's just an item. We do have the empties oh, yeah. and the empties are going to be stacking up at the moment. But mm -hmm. outside of like the, I guess if the golem explodes, it's going to give us five and then we have a bunch of ore. So the yeah. red pepper is probably not going to trigger for a while. Let's just, but what about this lucky cat? Let's just go with the lucky cat. What does it say? You are 1.3 times more likely to find uncommon, rare, and very rare symbols for each cat that you have. So, we have one cat, unless it counts itself as well, which would make it just far superior to the pebble, right? Mm-hmm. But the that's pretty, that's pretty interesting. The pebble itself gets rolled on the board. This is just an item, right? This will never. It will never. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's it's a symbol. Oh, golem's exploding this turn. Oh, good. Oh, good. Did destruction happen? It did not. Oh, lockbox is one of the items that gets that our that our hand helps, right? Exactly. The looting glove is going to give mm -hmm. us 1.5 times more when it is destroyed. The destroy condition for this is nothing on the page, so we would have to destroy it using some other thing. Whoa, the coal just transforms into a diamond, but mm -hmm. you have to suffer it for 20 spends. And candy, I guess we could feed to the toddler. Do you want to go lockbox? Let's do it, yeah. Try and focus on a kind of destruction. We are and um, very full. Looting build. In fact, are we full? No, there's uh, an empty, so we're not totally full. I think we've got like four empties. Three empties. We're, we're getting down to the wire. Whoa, ninja. Got a ninja that gives one less for each other ninja. Right, okay, so it has the same mm. mechanic as a lot of ninjas do in games where other ninjas are deleterious to the effect of the first. Mm. Except for in bloons where they stack. Ooh. I know in the TFT, they do Shinobi stack, but tactics. only if you have four. Like, you, if you have one on the board, you get the team bonus. If you have mm. two on the board, you lose oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then at four, they're strong again, right? Yep. I, I kind of remember this. Yeah. I thought that was a cool, like, you have to bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. Then we have the inversion of that over here with the cultist. Gives one more for each mm. other. Do you want to just take a ninja since we're random as heck? Sure. <laughs> if you're S random. Seems good in singleton kind of build. Ooh, so the the chicken, did it hatch there and give us something? 5% chance of adding an egg. We haven't got... We have a golden egg now. Oh, let's go. We didn't drop that. That's a 1% chance. The, the, that's that's the, chick, the chicken. The chicken did it. The chicken did it. Chicken oh, yeah. little. Thank you okay, so much. Okay, this is literally our last symbol, which is awesome. So is there any chance that we like just take seed or shiny pebble here and hope that we get a destruction it could be 
I don't know if we need them. And we have like three more wanna, spins until we get to the rant. I do want to overdraft though, because I want to see right. what happens when you're at 25. Like, are we, do we, are we, are we SOL? Are we, what are we able to do? It seems like it's going to give us the opportunity to take an extra one. We have the full 25. So maybe it's just like, it's 25 empties, right? And mm. then you start filling those up and then past that point, you can over increase. Maybe. There's, there's another lockbox right there. Then then, then sure, then we'll take another lockbox. We can't really destroy these, but yep. we've got the one. Symbols 26. Okay. 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 Yep. Hey, there you so go. I, so you always have at least 25 items. It's just that it starts with 20 empties or whatever. Yeah. Um, so you can never end up in a world where you're just rolling the same thing constantly on the board, which makes sense. Right. Oh, it actually ate the candy. Nice. Good work, <laughs> child. Toddle. Which introduced an empty back in. So you're actually increasing the size of oh, it irrevocably. That is weird. That's weird. Right? Because there had to be an empty symbol there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's strange. So that kind of, like, if you want your deck to be tight, that encourages you to not go over the 25 limit. Because we'll never come back. Yep. It also kind of discourages destruction without the ability to refill those spaces with some extra source yeah. like a golem or some such. Yeah, yeah, you kind of you need to destroy and create. Got a turtle here we've seen before, gives four every three spins. I think we saw something adjacent to that, maybe. Um we keep and then getting the offered coal. It feels like the game is it it it's telling us something. Let's you listen. Will take the coal. You will become a diamond. We have our next rent on board. It's completely fine. If uh, if a lot of these... Can these bust out into gold? Okay, yeah. All can't become coal. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're different mm -hmm. structures. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can have my money, landlord. Oh, God. 225. 225. Okay. Buffing Another capsule. Ninja. Buffing capsule. Oh. Is it permanent, though? Do you want to take it and find out? Yeah. Let's do okay. it. The Hex of yeah. Emptiness also has the 30% chance of forcing you to skip the symbols you can add after a spin. And that's the uh, huh. value it gives you for the three that it gives in return. We'll take the buffing capsule there, though. But that's weird because the other one, the Hex of Deletion, is like actually a synergy. Sometimes you want things to be deleted, but being forced to not have a draft, that seems like a pure negative. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Egg carton gives us the ability to take the eggs off the board that get produced by the chicken. Puts oh, all eggs into the item before each spin. All eggs in this item. All, but that's not gold. It doesn't include golden eggs. So that's a way for us to clear the non-golds. Yep. And it that's gives one cool. per egg in the item up to a maximum of six each spin. I think it's egg carton. We've seen the watering season before. Shedding mm -hmm. season is rabbits have an additional chance of making rabbit fluff. We don't have any rabbits. <laughs> Rabbits don't exist in this particular island. Vlad had Ooh. had an allergy to rabbit fluff. Did Landy we... McLandlord. Ah, the buffing capsule did its uh, did its effect and it buffed okay. all the things did around Did you see what itself. it hit? I I did not. I I didn't either. I'd be curious to see if it was if it if it's if they're giving us double this next time too. Or... I really wish I could go back to the board so that I could try and assess the kinds right? of things that have changed. Almost like a log. What, mm -hmm. what what was the state? Yeah. So we see Whoa. another toddler and another coal, which we've seen previously, as well as the bear, which destroys Whoa. adjacent honey. honey but honey is three. rare. <laughs> but it like... gives 35 for each honey it destroys. Yeah, it's a bunch. It's a bunch. I mean, particularly as you're getting towards those last rents, you know, it's mm -hmm. you won't get more value than that. But we, how, how likely are we to even see honey? Let's just cash them in. Yeah. Take the, uh, take the want, coal. You want more coal? Well, okay. I mean, the diamonds get better the more there are. It's true. It's true. We want we want to stack them diamond. We have to survive for like 20 spends. Oh, mm -hmm. why did that cherry just explode? I have no clue. Do cherries do that? Is there like a clause on the cherry that says... Not that? at all. Maybe it was next to the, the hex of destruction. I didn't see it though. Exactly. Unless it was wrapping. Maybe the hex was... Oh, was the hex like on the right side and it wrapped back to the left or something? Ooh. Yeah, we don't know Maybe. how the adjacency works in that fashion just I need yet. to. I need to like, I feel like I'm playing a fighting game. I need to pay closer attention to what happens in the rolls. Mm -hmm. 
I, I, I do really wish there was a log mm -hmm. being able to do so. Actually, can we see any of these that have had like their value doubled? Because that would that would prove the effect yeah. of the buffing capsule. Because all of these seem kind of normal so far to me. Yeah, that's like the normal text, right? Mm-hmm. In fact, but it would feel so strange if it was literally just a one-time impact, but maybe it's not. Maybe because what if you're, you know, what if you have some really strong synergy to where a bunch of stuff on the slot is buffing each other, and then you take a buffing capsule and just double that effect one time? I could see that being 500 gold or something, right? Mm -hmm. You have another five-sided okay. die opportunity here. I'm like increasingly tempted by stacking pebbles. Let's do it. Get, I mean, because those can come out of the ore. Hey, in fact, yeah. so this was the Hex of Destruction. It destroyed the ore, and then the ore became a pearl, which just gives one. Ooh, nice. So adjacency does count the diagonals here as well. The magpie. It's the opposite direction of the raven. I mean, that's that's plus five over four spins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it only gets more if you don't roll the magpie. Yep but you got to get it on the fourth spin. Or maybe that's every four spins that you see it. Maybe that's... I, yeah. I was assuming it, like, four spins passively. If you never saw it, it yeah. would just give you the nine regardless. We should take it, because I want to see that. We should... that That's a that's something that we should see. I'll I, keep an eye on the magpie. I think I'm wrong, though. There's magpie. It, yeah, it's it's okay. counting the oh, amount of times it's, got it's a been counter. seen. Mm. <sighs> Dang. You can get a copper for just two extra, a banana peel, or a crab here that gives three more for each other crab in the same row. I'm I'm really wondering when the click a bunch of stuff strat is gonna fall over. Cause I don't feel like our we have a cohesive build, but we're surviving so mm -hmm. far. I think we need to push it to its kind oh. of tensile strength here. Sun. Ooh. It's a sun, Yo. sun says rare gives three gold by itself which is just pretty good and adjacent flowers give five x more i think they're base one right so they're fives mm -hmm. and adjacent seeds are 50 percent more likely to grow we keep getting offered the grow build and we're not going to see a ton of rares so maybe we should just take it yeah i've been taking seeds we've got a couple flowers yeah. on the board yeah yeah maybe we find a seed generator later oh go full harvest moon there we go we, we got, got the five the, we got the five nice and we made rent actually which seems just, like it's getting harder. Just in time. It does appear to be going up. It does. 275. So it increased by 75 last time and then 50 this time. But yeah. also it's you in seven spins rather than six spins previously. So this is kind of like, this is an this easier is the, pattern for us. This might be like a bridge round, maybe. It's like bat, the, the, the tough times are coming. Uh-huh. Destroys itself. Mm. If there's zero adjacent. Gives eight when destroyed. I mean, we could just use this oh, for like a, a yeah. momentary we, pump. There, we should we should take it because there's no spots. Whoa. <laughs> you know what? We might need that with all the ore there. There's a bunch of cool stuff here, though. Look at this frying pan. Eggs are destroyed when adjacent to cheese or more eggs. And it adds what? That is an and omelet. Is that an omelet? Of course. But we haven't clicked even on our egg carton yet, so we have that already. I like the mining pick, man. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it seems like a really good idea for us. Yeah. Do we need to click on the egg carton? Oh, yeah, no, that was the, the hex triggering and destroying whatever was there. That was the coal that it destroyed, actually, which is interesting because that shows that adjacency is not just cardinal. Oh. It's 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 eight direction adjacency. We really, really, really wanted to get the gold out of that. That's fine. Yeah, it certainly feels like it would have been better <laughs> to derive value. I agree. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Wow. Things are every. It's. It's happening. We're starting Green. to see things pop off. Voidstone destroyed itself. That makes sense. Uh, looks like one of the ore also destroyed itself and generated a... No, it wasn't a coal. That's one we drafted. Can't even see the new result. Oh, I think it was the sapphire that it generated and one was a sapphire. Topaz. And I think we made a new copper too, actually. So maybe the old copper got destroyed. Mm-hmm. Which I, oh, interesting. No, I, I, I think it was that. the yeah. topaz. It just looks similar. Oh, to the topaz. Topic. Okay, got you, got you. Oh, they yeah. look kind of similar. So here's my proposal. Yo. Now that we've seen what overdrafting does, yes. and because we have this kind of you know down round to where we have more spins and about the same amount due, 
Maybe we start skipping more aggressively and looking for like one more bridge uncommon or rare to make something for the end game. Sure, sure. Let's do it. We've kind of got two good ideas. We've got a bunch of ore that we could play around with and we've got potential sun build. Mm -hmm. what, what is going to be giving us all these thieves that the items are dealing with? I know, I know. That's so weird, right? So skip those again. I feel like I'm. we're about to see class mechanics in this game, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we have multiple pebbles now. Cool. Okay. We do, yeah. So we're starting to actually increase that again. And we have the lucky cat. So we should be seeing a fair number of uncommons, actually. Okay, call that. Oh, we just destroyed, I think that was a topaz? Interesting. Oh, uh... more rain. Oh, no. I'm, I... I'm into plant build. I'm excited for plant <gasps> build now. No, it was a golden egg. That's what we destroyed. Oh, that's right. super rude. The rain build and there's the buffing capsule again. Yeah, let's do the rain build. Yeah. yeah. Rain, sun, flowies. It's happening. Look at look at our numbers going up. We managed to destroy the tomb. Oh no, so now we have five spirits floating around. Yep, looks like it. That's gonna be a huge, huge amount of money for us. So yeah, yeah we can take a, a bunch of oh, empties. We need to get 25 in the next spin. We most likely do, right? Thir 35. 35 sorry. Uh, we've been pretty consistently there. I think, do you want this emerald though? Yeah. It's rare. It says gold. Oh, we might not make it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was way closer than I thought it would be. I saw all of the coal and all the like non-paying stuff, all the spirits, and it was like, Ugh. I mean, the spirits pay you four every single time, right? Is that not oh. their thing? Yeah, they give four. It's just they destroy okay, themselves okay, okay. after they do it four times. Okay. Okay, we have eight spins in order to get up to 325, which is getting harder and harder and harder. We have uh, eight. Do you want to read go it? Read it. Read it. The bee. I want to hear about the beehive. That's that caught my eye. Beehive is rare. Gives three. Has a five percent chance of adding a bee, which itself ooh gives adjacent flowers two times mm -hmm. more production of their money. And because mm. it's not just like one extra, it's two times more. If the flower is next to a sun and a bee, I imagine mm. it's multiplied by five and two. Mm -hmm. And then it has a 5% yeah. chance of adding honey, which is also just really good. Yeah. Which was the bear synergy thing that we saw earlier. And and the honey was what I was excited about, but now I'm excited about it in general because of the bee. Mm-hmm. 5% chance of adding that as well. Do you want to go for the other two? We should sure but i want the beehive yes. chemical seven we've seen because it's related to our hand of getting more from destroying things very true destroys itself gives seven gold and adds a seven item when destroyed Ooh, what what is that <laughs> oh interesting that's cool <laughs> that's kind of neat that's that's nice mm -hmm. and then there's the void creature over on the right which is kind of like the void stone adjacent empties give one more destroys itself if there are zero adjacent empties and gives eight when destroyed. How is it different fact, to the isn't Void that the Stone? Same? It's it's only different in name. Maybe they have different synergies. Yeah, yeah, I imagine so. I mean, obviously you can't get this yeah. from a gem blowing up, that is to say an ore blowing right. up, but you can get the void stone from it. Strange. Yeah. Take like that beehive though. Ooh. Oh, you can just draft a lucky seven. That's cute. Evidently. Chicken coop. <laughs> three of Whoa. this item so the previous one wouldn't have even been an item uh, or rather would have been giving us an item had it blown yes. up right. yes yes nice. not a symbol an item yeah yo booster pack though check that out chicken coop is an immediate synergy but booster pack i mean destroy this item and choose three common symbols two uncommon symbols and one rare symbol to add we have a lot of things in the common and uncommon and rare sets that we're interested in right we can get mm -hmm. seeds mm -hmm. and flowers from common uh, yep. From uncommon, yep. we can get rain. From rare, we can get the sun. Mm -hmm. Or beehives or whatever we haven't seen yet. True. Very true. Plus, it just lets us see a bunch of stuff, which tends to be my inclination when I'm learning a new game is like, what option lets me see the most paths? Let's see some so stuff. We have to, what? Click it, I guess. Okay. Speed round. Yo, oh, you can skip here for these, actually, which might be good. I that, guess Goose that, could. The fact that you can skip makes it so much better. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Let's do it. Coin we can take this egg and then immediately put it in the carton. Ooh, I like that. We haven't clicked on that. <laughs> egg. Only eggs. Another opportunity to do the same. There's a dwarf here that synergizes with beer and wine. Not necessarily things that we have any access to. Let's get another egg. Hey, interesting. 
Oh, the Matryoshka. <laughs> it makes more Matryoshka. I wonder what it makes at the end. A golden egg. Oh, Ooh. it just goes back and forth. Does it? Yeah, that's the same symbol as the first one. No, no, I oh, I love oh. this this as well. I can actually yeah. If if I let it set, I can then inspect this one. Let that set. Inspect this one. Let that set, and then inspect this one. Matroska doll at the very middle gives us. Oh the wow. Four. Okay, but that's so many rounds later. Oh, but look, it's different than the coal. Coal says, you know, after twenty rounds becomes a diamond. But this says destroys itself after ten spins. But mm -hmm. it adds this thing when destroyed, regardless. So if you can destroy it in one spin, then you can accelerate. Mm -hmm. This is really good that's in the destruction cool. build then. I mean, we already have the pickaxe as well, so golem seems pretty good to me. Seems acceptable. I, I think I would go buffing capsule or, or golem here. Let's, let's let's go with the golem, I think. Cool. Uh, hey, we finally found some rabbit fluff. You are 1.2 times more likely to find uncommon rare and very rare symbols. Gives us a two on its oh. roll. Nice. Sure. I'm, I'm about stacking chances for uncommon and rare stuff. Let's do it. The other ones are kind of uh, obvious on the board as well. Ooh. <laughs> Permanently gives. Oh, look at what Mrs. Fruit does. Mm -hmm. That's neat. I mean, if we're going to be growing seeds. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get a lot of these random things as well. And it also eats uh, plums. I thought it was going to eat coal for some reason. I was like, I don't, even, <laughs> I don't think that one's a fruit. Mrs. Fruit just loves to just mack down on some coal. Yeah, exactly. As, as I was in school, I don't remember them <laughs> explaining the food tri uh, pyramid yeah. to us rather at the time and saying, at the very top here is coal. You got to get your daily mm. intake of coal. You know, some carbon. It's, it's pump the stomach, I guess, from all the fruit she ate. Fair point. We well, take Mrs. Fruit. it has to be activated first, you see. Let's mm. let's take Mrs. Fruit. The moon was for if we went animals build. We just got to get rid of some of these like random spirits and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I guess look for opportunities to click on egg. We have not destroyed have anything it. extra. I think we did destroy a cherry just there, but other than that, we haven't really destroyed much. It's, it's unfortunate that we destroyed our one golden egg. It's okay though. Mm -hmm. Just a bit. I'm. I feel like. Oh, you could take the miner here if you wanted more ways to destroy some of our ore. We could do, but I think the mining pick takes enough chance of that. Like, oh, oh yeah, that's an item, not a symbol. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let, let's just skip. We're good. We don't need these. Cool. I think we're good on like stuff that just gives some value. We wanna, we wanna start getting our multipliers off. It feels to me. Mm -hmm. Got six spins to find. So what? We had eight spins to get here, so we've spin spun twice and gotten 74 total out of it. So it's an expected mm. return of 30, 38, 36. Ooh, 37, we're, we've got a little a little work to do then, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three, Maybe we one, need to be aggressively skipping stuff then. 180. Yeah, I think so. I think so. We're we're going to find our break though. Ultimately, if we get the right symbols next to each other, we'll have a huge round. Mm -hmm. There's 37, but I've seen us get 50. We we can't take the golem right now. It's too slow. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Ugh. I'm really sad about that as well because with the pick, these would just go it's, off. It's kind of cool. We're just getting mad gems, right? Yeah. And gem slot machine is feels very thematic. Getting the spirits out of the way is nice too. Mm -hmm. We have some empties now. Do we still have toddler? We only have one empty. We've destroyed a lot of things. So unless we created a bunch of things in that round, how do we still only have one empty? Mm, because we only destroyed one thing in that round. But we had an empty last round as well. Oh, did it get filled by something? It must have. Maybe we got another egg or... Maybe, we... but I'm not seeing new things here. Yeah, I don't know. Strange. It's kind of hard to keep up with what happens, right? I, I'm, I want this log. Just a but little bit. But do you want a pinata? I think we're, we're done with toddler strats. Yeah, I don't think that's necessary for us. Yeah. These dice are so funny. There's okay. like a second roll happens. So we lost another... Oh my god, son. We lost another one there, and we still only have one empty. So, wow, do you always just float one empty after you start destroying things? Is that... Oh, look, look, look. Our symbols are 39. They were 40 before. So maybe empties destroy themselves if they're above 25 or something. But then... Something... How do we happening. have one? 
because it was just created this round. So I've noticed that oh. when you destroy something on the round, there's an empty that's represented, almost like an indication. But we were just at 40 symbols, so I, I think I, I may be misremembering memory. No, you're 100% right. Is, you're 100% right. I just took the sun. We have an extra sun mm -hmm. here. The empty has disappeared. So it was yeah. just showing me the empty that was represented by the removal deck. Good point. Two getting, spins to get some money. A hundred. Interesting. Let's Interesting. let's take the wealthy capsule just for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to try to get a bit of a a boost. A boost. Oh, oh big, big, 20. big plant strats. <laughs> plant strats bail us out. We might actually make it. I don't know if we take the hex of destruction anymore because we're trying I don't to think focus, so. mocus. Uh, We've kind of got the thing moment. right. Yeah. I almost want to destroy the Hex of Destruction. I wonder if there's an item that lets you, like, select one thing to delete. Mm -hmm. Dude, we barely made this. We barely made this. But, really like, we're starting to see the synergies go off. I mean, when the when the sun and the rain all came together. Double fruit, dude. Let's let's do it. I'm, I'm fully into this build, I think. We I'm super down with seeds, it. Though. We also have the Hustling Capsule here, which gives you negative six. It destroys itself, and it adds a pool ball item when destroyed. So every <laughs> single round, you just get one. That's hey. interesting. Very rare. Hey, yeah, as I was saying, like the ability to start adding additional symbols that's provided uh, here by the Frozen Pizza. Add an extra symbol after. And the question is, are you able to skip it? We should take this to learn. I, I imagine it's, you can. I've never seen a, yeah. a, a locked skip mechanic here Unskippable, yet. Unskippable, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that was an item too. That's not a... Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Yo, we're, we're starting to see more and more very rare stuff. This is sweet. The card shark. That's cool. Yeah, we can we can kind of like identify multiple different builds here, right? We've got like a thief-ish mm. kind of build that may be related to other humans. Thief, and outlaws, stuff like that. NPCs build, right? Mm -hmm. We have the yeah. uh, the suits themselves, so we have kind of like a poker build, we have like a, mm -hmm. a, a seed growth build, we have like an animal mm -hmm. growth build, we have ores. I'm, I'm seeing like enough of different ones as well as the bridging mechanics between them that I'm starting to really yeah. get a sense of, of how you kind of go off in this game. We should, I, I, I hope that we have time to do one or two extra runs. We'll see, we'll oh, see definitely. where we are, but if we do, you know, maybe it's try to force a couple builds. I, I've seen you do that with new games and I think it's a really effective way to learn. You like. You do a bunch of stuff, and then you try to force a few things, and then you mm -hmm. kind of find the mid-ground. Yep. Oh, honestly, that's, like, very much my kind of, like, a mental plan as I go into a new game, right? Try and find yeah. a way to break and then learn how to play the game from it. <laughs> yeah, from the from the break. Yeah, reverse engineer from there. I think we just skip. I don't know if we need it. I'm with it. We got our one very rare already. I'm excited about it. And now I just want to... I just want to grow plants, man. I'm a simple man. Uh, I well. like to take the the one off buffing capsule. Yeah, right. Because yeah. if it happens to land next to our our thing, it could be pretty oh. neat. There's an oyster here that gives you a twenty percent chance of finding a pearl and adds a pearl itself when destroyed. Also, it's cute. Um, it's cute. And we are we do have some pearls going on actually. Three of them. Yeah, yeah. With all of those golems, we've actually got like a pretty mm -hmm. pretty reasonable spread. We got an emerald out of them apparently. So this is I think going we just drafted to drafted be... that emerald, didn't we? I think that was coming up to one of our... May well have been. Like, I may have just rare. forgotten. It's rare we need this. So I'm, I'm trying to think of like anything else that is going to let us lean back into Mrs. Fruit because I think that is going to be it's what true. we want to capitalize fruits. on. That and the sun. Yeah, I agree. We have two Mrs. Fruit, two sun, and two rain. Like We need seeds. We need a seed maker. Seed generator. Nice. She ate something. Well, we can just put a cherry in, I guess. Definitely could. We also have right. a bronze arrow, which gives zero points in a random direction, and symbols that are pointed to give two times more gold. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Do we maybe that's... need that for the sake of the money in five spins? That's not a that's not a bad idea, actually. It's just like if we're doing multiplier stuff, mm -hmm. the bronze arrow goes in there and it hopefully lines up, right? He's hoping. We're gonna have to I mean, ultimately it's gambling time. We're we're waiting for the game to deliver here. Destroys itself. At least one of the symbols to add after this spin will be rare or better. Maybe it'll give us seeds. Come on, lucky. Or capsule. another sun, even. Bail me out. 
<laughs> Do we just immediately cart in this egg? Is that is that a thing? Yep. I mean, that's just what we should always do, right? If we get the egg yeah. carton, it's... Wait, yeah, it did take the egg. Good. Okay. It just auto-fills. That's cool. That's just three per. Love it. Seed! <laughs> Seed, get in. <laughs> and we don't get even in, want nerd. the bartender? No, we don't do this. The bars have been closed ever since the plant times began. <laughs> oh, feels too familiar. The what? <laughs> uh, buffing capsule, and there's a banana there. The banana does add the destroyed banana itself as well, though, mm. which is a bit... Bananas destroy thieves. That's too funny. I, I didn't notice that the first, second, or third time. Very, very but slapstick. now I've seen it. Uh, I'm, just... I think I went the buffing capsule, yeah. Buffing yeah. capsule and the arrow are going to line up and bail us out. Do, we, do you literally just take a cherry and give Mrs. Fruit more opportunities to become so big? Yep. Eat. It's a kind eat of dire Mrs. importance Fruit, here. Eat. It's more another rain. shiny pebble. Oh, no, more rain. You're right. Uh, One spin. We'll hope for 100. We can on. do it. It's theoretically possible. Why? Look at that arrow <laughs> point to nowhere. <laughs> Vlad, please. 311. <sighs> I'll sing you a song, Landy McLandlord. I have a whole collection. My discography is is very platinum. One second here, just making sure that I've tapped onto the right screen. Uh, your rent is late and you are being evicted. Game over. Oh, you hit retry and it just immediately takes you into another run. Oh Should man, we, we don't uh... even have a chance to contemplate. <laughs> we we can take a second to contemplate here. Yeah. First all of right. all, what do you, did you have? Did you have fun? Yes, I, I really, really enjoyed like the, the mechanics that I can already see on board. I can see that yeah. kind of potential and the way in which they will interact with one yeah. another. Um, I'm I'm interested to see how many builds can give you kind of ridiculous combinations because I'm seeing a lot of multiplicatives. Yeah. And as soon as I see a lot of multiplicatives, I'm like, yeah, those all go we on We can one make thing. a huge number, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, and there's, obviously, like I've like seen- It seems like there's a big luck component, which of course it's a <laughs> slot machine game. It's the right? first I... word in the title. Luck veal landlord, yeah, yeah, good, good, astute teak. You, you, you're killing it. <laughs> Certainly read the title. Well done. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I agree. Yeah, there is, there is a huge mm -hmm. luck component initially as well, based in the offerings that are given to you. So it also has the secondary element of of being similar to a lot of roguelikes, roguelites, mm -hmm. rogueish games, etc., um, where you can't Rogers. really. Exactly, some rogues. Sorry, I forgot the terminology that had been uh, determined okay. by. Uh, Belgium. There's a department in Belgium that just does all of the genre classifications like that. Thank you. Yeah, somebody oh. has to make the names. Someone's got them. Uh, it, it looks like you don't really force a build as much as you identify what the game is starting to possibly provide enough yeah. for you to get a ground in, and then you can start skipping things and forcing the build, and right? Then you, and then you skip, right? And it, you, you try to stay just at those first several levels of rent mm -hmm. and lean in on the big bill, which makes me excited about the things that were giving us more uncommon and rares. Yes. I really feel like we had more chances to get a build online when we got a couple shiny pebbles and a lucky cat. Mm -hmm. It felt like it made a huge difference. Yeah, exactly. We ended up with like, what, two, three suns, two miss fruits, three rains. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just if we hadn't have also put you know, two golems in there and a bunch of other right, things. Right, right, right. We, we had like, we had the, we've got a bunch of gems build and we had the, we thought we were a toddler for a minute build. And we, 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 we had a lot of little spittles. Mm -hmm. And so it was making it hard. When I was saying that there's luck in the game, my most astute observation of the evening, what I was referring more to was that some of the most powerful effects numerically require a lot of random things to happen during the spin. Mm -hmm. You need the bronze arrow to show up. You need it to point in the direction of the flower that's getting multiplied by the sun and by the rain, right? And so to manipulate that RNG, it's got to be about precision. Like you, you just have to reduce the things that can happen, right? So that you've got a decent chance of all of the pieces coming together to make that 500 point spin. Definitely. Honestly, games like this that have that kind of element of, mm -hmm. you know, you could have the absolute perfect build, but it might still just not come up or they the, yeah. the arrows might yeah. point in the wrong direction. Um, obviously, yeah. that's not necessarily for everyone, but I mm -hmm. really, really enjoy that as well because it kind of left, lets me off the hook a little bit mentally. Agreed. I've talked about before, actually, this is not the game that anyone expects me to make a parallel unless you watch my stream a lot because it's I'm finding parallels with everything because the game is so fun. Spelunky 2 has been this way for me. 
Mm -hmm. In games to where I have already accepted that death is likely and it's coming soon. It feels less painful, I think, when it happens, right? Mm -hmm. Each run is happening very quickly and there's a certain amount, well, in Spelunky 2, nothing is out of your control, but there's the accepted baseline risk. We're just not gonna spin right. And so it makes it easier to, well, we'll do another run. It's not, in some games, when I finish a run that loses, part of me is kind of pained a little bit. I I was so invested in that run that didn't need to happen that way, but yeah. Yep. You know, I actually have one. Can I make one comparison here that, that I was thinking about before? So I saw you had this up and I'm excited for you to see the game. I played over nine hours of Loop Hero this week on stream. Really love the game. This game is, is different than I expected. It's even more bare bones than I expected, but I saw this interesting parallel between the two. I think they're both doing similar things in completely different ways. Mm -hmm. Totally different style, totally different game. But what both of them are taking is kind of rogue elements. And what they're doing is either minimizing or completely stripping out, right, the micro of the game. Mm. And I've noticed this direction happening more and more with games. It's an interesting thing. I want to recombine this genre and this genre, but what would it look like if there were no micro? Kind of taking that idler or auto battler sense, right? Uh -huh. Only macro. You just build. You just draft. You just path. And and Loop Hero is that way. You have no control over the battle. No spoilers. I'm sure you'll play it. And this game is that way too. Initially, I thought that I wouldn't enjoy that, but one of my viewers said something that I thought was great, which is when games reduce the micro if it's executed well it can make them very meditative they're more relaxing mm -hmm. you know you don't get the exhausted feeling from a long session of playing a micro light game that you get from a micro heavy game mm -hmm. it, it, it reduces cool. that mental overhead that you're gonna have to be running at all times but also i mm -hmm. find in some circumstances like that i'm i'm, I'm very very keen on the auto battle uh, auto battler genre and yeah the we fact talked that it's about you because you like the clicker games too right yes you've got the clicker Ooh. that's the g g and u idler what is it what's it called a ngu idle is the uh, oh, is one i'm working on the most at the moment it's, it's ngu for uh yeah. numbers go up <laughs> it's literally right, like right right, right. it's right. it's very yeah. much printed on the tin um but I, mm -hmm. I like the idea of those kinds of games kind of sanding off the the micro wedge of it giving you the ability to reduce yeah. that mental overhead which you can then reallocate it doesn't necessarily have to then become a meditative experience although it can be right you can then also reallocate that to focusing more on the macro because you've got a limited resource right. in the mental capacity right. that you can actually run right. at any time. You're not over-constrained. Maybe it's more realistically capturing the capacity of a person while playing a game for many, many hours, right? Because we all have those games that we love. I mean, like Slay the Spire on the other series on the ladder streak. I love it. But man, if you play a lot of games of, of Ascension 20 Heart, you're going to be tired. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I 100%. Uh, after we record the ladder streak, I am always just... We'll go have a kind spa day, right? Like, put the cucumbers on the eyes. There's smoothness yeah. to the brain, as we've mentioned, the kind of marbleization. Um, but instead of uh, necessarily mentioning the other series too much, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take us back off the camera and let's do more for another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You want to do some kind of speed round and like just take some things early and then try to push the build? Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, light bulb. We haven't seen that one before. Adjacent flowers give a 50% oh, wow. chance of giving two more times gold. Uh, adjacent seeds are fifty percent more likely to grow. So this is like a, a low tier uh, kind of sun. Let's take it. It's interesting that it was offered next to a seed, you know. But we start mm -hmm. with a flower, so <laughs> very thematic. So we we probably can't skip early, right? Three spins are like we... expected outcome from here. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, six. But we won't see them all, right? We're probably missing one per spin. Yes, so it's five on mm -hmm. average. I mean, we may just meet we'll make the twenty-five it. if we do yeah. that, and we have obviously upcoming selections. I would, t I would take cat for potential lucky cat. Like that, that to me seems strong enough. Uh, sure. That also gives us Skip. a second cat, so we may just find you know some other cat synergies and be able to use those. Ooh, yeah. Got that extra gold there. Oh, nice. Okay, so do you want to skip here? Yeah. Okay. So we kind of have two directions we can take. One is is the grow things direction, which would encourage potentially monkey. And the other is the beast master direction, which might also encourage monkey. Mm -hmm. Destroys okay. adjacent for banana, coconut, and coconut half. 
and gives you gold equal to the value of the symbols destroyed this way. Um, hmm. Nothing to feed it yet. You know, it's just, it's just hanging out, doing monkey business. Yeah, exactly. It feels like that's like two degrees removed from anything we're doing at the moment, but it's also two it degrees removed from cat and from the light bulb flower build through the yeah. seeds. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I, there is part of me that's like, do we take a cultist so that if there is another cultist on the board, we're like, oh, we can take that one and start it, going cultist. It begins. It begins. But then we end up doing the same thing we did last time. We've got we just straddle build, a bunch right? of builds. No, let's let's force. Let's force. And if we get unlucky, then then we've gotten unlucky. So we forcing I, I, or I'm are we skip. skipping? I'm I I like skip. I think skip is forcing here. Or sorry, yeah, like, I, I should have asked how are we forcing rather. Mm, right, right. Yeah, we made our first. Uh... If we lose, we lose, right? So little on the line. Ooh. Ooh. B. Jason Flowers you... keep two times more. Yeah, so we're just honestly, we're a pollen uh, uh, uh pollination build. It's it's kind of happening. Although there is a lucky capsule here if we wanted to guarantee a rare thing, but I like this. Mm. Choose two symbols to add by destroying this item. Cover, lockpick. Oh, oh, that's cute. The lockpick lets us just take the boxes as influx mm -hmm. because they're gonna, they're just gonna get destroyed. That might be worth if we're trying to force a build so that like you can just take a chest, you know, and and get a little bit of a boost. Mm -hmm. That's that's definitely not bad. Let's yeah. let, let's let's do that, right? So we have okay. something to take in the you know, shops where we would otherwise take nothing. Right. To keep us alive. Oh, there's a second cult. Oh, there's also I, another light bulb, okay. though. We got light bulb. We got light bulb. We're, we're stacking. At what point do we have too many light bulbs is perhaps the question. Mm. Do they stack with each other? We will see. I imagine they would. It's just going to be a bit difficult yeah. because we're going to need so many flowers as well to have them hit consistently. So the question is, do you, do you take the cherry? Hmm. It doesn't it's only got synergize synergies with anything with, yet. with the, the plant things that come later, like Miss Fruit. Mm -hmm. So right now it's just one of our empties. Miss Fruit's really good in that a seed can grow into a flower or fruits, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So yeah. if the seed grows into fruit, Miss Fruit just clears it up. If it grows into a flower, we capitalize on it. We've got synergizing factors. Yeah. It's just Miss Fruit's yeah. also rare. Yeah, I know, I know, right? And we just, we just might not. We saw her so many times last game that it feels like, it feels like a guarantee almost, but it's certainly not. I mean, last time we really filled most of our symbols with like urns blowing up and with the That's golem true. blowing up. So maybe That's we can true. draft, you know, a little aggressively as long as we're not taking things that are blowing up yeah. into so many other things. You know what I'd like to see? Something that lets me choose symbols to destroy. Mm -hmm. Like I would like to choose to destroy the spade, for the. Oh, seed. Seed's here. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's a banana the now. club, rather. The symbol of the thing. We didn't take monkey. Oh, but we did monkeys not. don't do anything with banana peels anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. So I think this is another skip skippy. for us. Yeah, agree. <sighs> so Jason seeds would be so good. We have literally oh, exactly. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. We're going to need some. We're going to need some boost. So... Do we take the chemical seven then? That looks like a boost. Yeah, we might actually end up getting three sevens yeah. and going there. Yeah, it could save us. Let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, I just love his monocle. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty good, man. Hey, we're you being know, real picky right now. What about that blue pepper? I like it. Yeah, it'll keep us alive in the early game. Mm -hmm. and by the time it's not working, hopefully we're doing better. Plus it's blue. Oh yeah. Ooh. It's paying out. This is good for a singleton build as well, the, the ninja. Yeah. Oh, well, is it? We just turned down something that gave us two because we were like, no, we don't want to put that on board. Do we still just do it though? Because we haven't got that many flowers on the board and like we've got a hundred and five spins. I want to skip. Let's I want to skip. It. I want to skip. If we, if we might, we might die because of my, of my decision making. More flowey. Yeah. Build together. Three spins. Oof. Nope. This oh is the boy. same the same thing that we did previously. It's it's gonna come together. Four from the single flower? It's, it's getting there. No. Okay. We We need to make 
20. This is theoretically possible. We might need to take a cat. <laughs> oh, those adjacencies aren't going to do it. Oh, it's six off. Okay, well, we go again. Let's do it again. We we might just... We either have to get luckier or we have to take just a few more things in the early game. Also, are our starting symbols different? They... They totally are. There's no club. There's some mm. randomness. Yes, it's, it seems like the suit can be random, but I'm pretty sure mm, the rest okay. of these were there. Are always cherry, flower, coin, cat. Mm -hmm. That seems... I mean, each of those consistent. leads into a build of a kind. Yeah, so. yeah. Seems reasonable. Should we... So, beer? Yeah, let's... New new build? Let's do it. Bartender dwarf build? We saw so few things that operated with mm. those previously. Oh, let's take a pebble. Yeah. I like it. There's a pebble in my drink. Bounty hunter destroys uh... thieves. We don't really... We still haven't seen any source of thieves yet. <laughs> I know, right? It feels like there... There's some like food cheese center. We should, we can skip, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to get more. We're going to get the build. We hope. Hmm. Do you want to take a dog? Always. Landlord, I feel you like can that was, that, money. that was like a call out to you in real life. Yes. 100%. Do you want a dog? Definitely do, eh? His name's gonna be Reginald. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> Chemical 7 is gonna save us. I really believe in this. And it kind of, you know, next to the bar is the alchemist. Mm -hmm. It's worth noting as well. Like, we took Chemical 7 and then we survived the next round literally on the skin of our teeth. Literally. Yeah. Figuratively yeah. on the skin of our teeth. Or literally, literally, which literally means figuratively on the skin of our teeth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it saved us. Yeah. Rocking pants, swear jar. Swear jar, you put one gold in this item every single time you spin and gain 25 or less. You may destroy the item and gain three times the gold inside of it. That'll probably oh. get us through to the next one. That's cool. That's cool. Let's take it. That'll save us from something. We're there certainly we getting 25 or less. Uh, cultist? Cultist bar. It's kind of NPCs too. Okay. Okay, I can see that. I also do like leaving open the, the possibility of going into a more cultist build. Yeah, yeah. We need some options. I think that's... I'm beginning to build this intuition that you you can try to force a build and then you'll just lose a lot until you get lucky, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can try to take some options that keep you open to a few builds and you'll be in a better shape. Seems like a good idea, like, frankly. Well, you could, we could even take a third option there in Oyster. Like, maybe you just take really valuable stuff in the early game. You take the chicken that's on offer. It's it's the fact that the Oyster would have also given us the consistent generation of more pearls mm -hmm. that would have led mm -hmm. me to think, like, we get that early game. We now need to get pearl destruction into the deck somehow. We have to, right? Or, or something to do with them, yeah. Which, speaking of destruction, there's a golem. Do you want it? I think dwarves do something with ore. I think they may. Or do they only do things with, with alcohol? I think uh, canonically, mm. <laughs> they do something with one of them and then the other. That's right. According to the lore, rock and stone, brother. Let's do it. Oh, it's, it's here. Coldest build. It's happening. Maybe. Maybe. Two per? Oh, never mind. They both. Oh, we have to break oh. the swear jar in order to get this. <laughs> We, we live. <laughs> it saved us just <laughs> like you promised. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's just wealthy capsule. Just take the 10. Oh, chick is like a thing. Oh, an item. It's two if none of the symbols are empty, which many of them are at the moment. Three, if at least three symbols are the same and not empty. Oh, let's That's green, good in a cultist green. build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're stacking same things. Same, Previously, same we were a singleton build in the opening, and now we will uh, be the opposite of that. Mm. I mean, this is a Gosh. stack same thing kind of, right? Yeah. For the oh, for each other crab in the same row, you have to have so many crab. Mm hmm. That's a lot of crab. Starting to regret the golem a little bit, Tbh. Yeah. 
I like I I, I want to skip, but I I do worry that this is just gonna kill us at the same time, you know. Let's trust crab. Maybe the crab will multiply. Trust in crab. I don't Even know if we egg. trust in any of these though. Egg becomes chick. Chick becomes chicken. Chicken lay egg. It does. It's just. Do we want that? Do we want many eggs on the board? Many eggs becoming like more chickens, etc. The chicken just high rolling us gold eggs is pretty cool. Yeah, maybe you're right. We don't care. What I want is three more cultists. That seems like that will win. Oh, then it gives you a common item, not a common symbol. Oh, oh, we should take that. I, w I was misreading that. Yes, yeah, items are good. We got a red are, pepper. They're crossing in my mind somehow. If if we low roll on the green pepper, the red pepper's there to save us. Gives us five of every single <laughs> citron. <laughs> uh, skip? I think that's a skip too. I remember when we were a rain build. We have our hundred, so we're already good. Do you want to take the Matryoshka? Yeah, let's and do just, it. Just like have it on the field doing Matryoshka thing. It's just out there. Growing up. Opening up okay. and releasing its inner child. <laughs> um, what do you think about a bronze arrow, actually? Bronze arrow with a bunch of cultists feels like it could be quite strong. I don't dislike it. Cultist. Yeah. Pool just gives one per. There's a coin on a string. Gives one 10%. Okay, so it's just a worse pool ball for us. Then That's blue pepper weird. gives three if there are at least three empties. We still have seven empties, but also they're kind of getting filled relatively quickly. Yeah, we're we running have, out of empty time. We have no plan to destroy these ores. We definitely shouldn't have taken mm -hmm. that golem. <laughs> well, In we'll retrospect. find an answer. We'll find an answer. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. Should we uh, Maybe go this is literally ball? just pool ball? Yeah. yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but like, it counts. Oh yeah, that flower at two. We skip it. -y. We believe. We'll find the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Identify the dog. Thank you. Oh, thief. So it is just an item. All right. Uh, gives you a negative one. Gives four times from the you gold lost from this symbol when destroyed. Hmm. Thief is a symbol. Ah, yes. Sorry. I, <laughs> I'm going to take a symbols. moment to get the nomenclature kind of straight in my head. <laughs> It's kind of hard. I don't know why they're crossing over. Probably because other than the color, they're not visually distinct, really. Mm -hmm. And so you're just like, I'm looking at a card. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I still call relics here. cards. So. <laughs> oh, all the time. And I think that in some philosophical sense, they may be. Yeah. I mean, like, th there was uh, back in the, the 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 video that was made about the, the, the singing bowl. Um, mm. One of the references mm. was to the fact that I kept calling it a card rather than a relic, but then they popped up on the right. screen a card designed after the singing bowl. And it oh could, my have, gosh. could have easily been. Uh, what if? Uh, skip I want to skip. Too. I believe we're going to find... <gasps> Good line. Nice. We're going to find the answer. This ain't it. It's coming to us. We're going to make this payment. Yeah, we're did, fine on this one. Did it just point at the pepper? Is that a uh thing? Ooh, I don't know if it gave us anything extra for pointing at the pepper. I think it does yeah. say like it gives you extra for the symbol yeah, symbols that are pointed to. So Okay, okay, okay. We we're gonna find the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Just nothing. Okay. We need like two cultists back to back, I think, to survive the next payment. Yeah. Oh. Stories itself adds a bull ball when destroyed. So that <laughs> this is very weird. I might just take a wolf here, honestly. Mm hmm Just to try to just to try to eclipse our upcoming challenge. You can Barrel destroy this item and add a dwarf. <laughs> no, seven dwarves. <laughs> oh, seven! Take it. But it will destroy Yeah, I mean, look, let's do it. It'll destroy the alcohol, but it gives you a bunch of money for having destroyed them. So when are we breaking the item? When are we making seven dwarves? Are we ready? Oh, oh, I think we, we probably should have done that immediately, right? I don't know. We don't have enough spaces. I mean, we need to find them more beverages. They're currently, they currently have one beer for the seven of them, which is going to be a disaster. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to be an absolute riot. Uh, none? And then just focus on the dwarves? Yeah, yeah, agreed. 
Our eight I mean, dwarves. They give us one per, so it's yeah, still yeah. a good increase for us. Get them out there. They're making money. Oh, he immediately found <gasps> it. <laughs> Two of them can destroy at the same time. Oh my oh. god. Cultist. Oh again? wait, but there's also a miner. Oh man. Uh I feel like it's cultists though. Cause they're they're stacking with each other. Yep. Especially because the arrow the, points at them. Yeah, the mm -hmm. other multiplicators make it really bad. <laughs> it's another dwarf. These dwarves. Uh, Do you want eight dwarves? No. I don't think we need an eighth dwarf. I don't think we need eight dwarves either. It's not right, Snow White. It's just not right. There we go. And the Matroshka is starting to do real work. Mm -hmm. That's another skip there, though. Come on. Did Wait, just... I thought the dog was worth two by... Oh, that's a dog, not a wolf. Right, yes. right. Just give me something to drink, please. We have so many dwarves <laughs> that they'll all drink the same thing and be fine, but we just need something. We we are we're gonna get it, whatever it is. It needs to bail us out. No! It's no it's just <laughs> Dwarves cannot drink dwarves. Do we take a <laughs> sapphire? Well, I mean, we we need to make twenty-five. Twenty-nine in one spin, yeah. I don't think Sapphire makes us do that. I think this has to be like just a high roll with what we with, with the goodies that we have. Why? Oh, it's so <laughs> close. Okay, we go again. It's cool. interesting that our first run was our best by far, and we just kind of took a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Although I would say we're learning a lot from this as well. Yes, yes, and it's faster. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, definitely some time efficient learning. It's four off for every you wanna, three spins. You want to do mouse things? Yeah, maybe that gives us enough money early that we can kind of start avoiding yeah. other things. Yeah. Because, like, I've been seeing mouse and cheese often enough. They're common, after all. Gato. Gatito. You know what the gato? No. I love cat. Let's do it. The promise of lucky cat fills me with determination. <sighs> or you're too late. But Jeez. cheese is here. Oh, we didn't even roll the uh, animal that time. Do we want to also branch into mm. bears and honey, maybe? I do like the bear honey direction, and it keeps us open to bees, mm -hmm. which keeps me open to flower build, which I have found to be the... Of all of the builds that we have considered, it is the one that makes me feel the most warm inside, that mm -hmm. somehow I will pay my rent by encouraging, you know, the local flora to, fawn, to, to flourish. There's something definitely like beautiful that. about it. Yeah. Do you want a lucky around. capsule? Destroys itself. At least one of the simple. Yeah, that'll help us define our build, I think. All right, right. Uh, it's also a grave robber here for the tombs as well to have a chance to destroy themselves. So that is for the spirits kind of focus build. Whoa. Piggy bank is rough. Purple pepper gives five if three or more of the same symbol are adjacent and not empty. That's like, it has a lot of potential, but it won't go off for a long time. Piggy bank, remember last run. We effectively had a piggy bank that saved us in the early spins. So maybe we've not been giving this enough credit. The the the, the piggy bank we had that time was, I think, a higher multiplier. X. And it was yeah. also not taking gold from us. It was just yeah, that's getting true. an extra one. It was, it was just better. Do you want to take purple for the potential? Yeah, I, I think so. Especially build? if we're kind of like okay. focusing on kind of focused, so to speak, builds. Focusing on focus. Hmm. Farmer. Adjacent everything gives two times more, and adjacent seeds are 50% more likely to grow. Well, I mean, they're rare. They are. It's they are indeed. And they're worth two. I mean, so, like, it's it's like a wolf that could be an in-game build. Do we kind of, like... Oh, right, yeah. We don't even... We can just take it as a value yeah, two, and then exactly. maybe pivot later. God, it got That's exa exactly... Yeah. And maybe it's great. And maybe we just don't need it. Speaking of maybe we don't need it. Yeah, I feel skippy on this, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Quite really strongly. hesitant to just yeah. take an ore, and maybe that's maybe that's wrong. No, now, a three-sided die I'm willing to take as a bridge. It's worth two. Let's do it. I'm okay with that as well. Ah, We've definitely learned, I think, from the last couple runs that we might have to just click a couple more things. Do we take the more cheese? I consider mm. the lucky pebble there. We still haven't even destroyed the first cheese. True. This mouse <laughs> needs to get to work. Please. Oh, uh, orange. That's a farm thing. Yep. It's worth four. Gives us four? 
that's not half bad. Uh, lemon, empties give one. Oh my god. We oh. have 12 empties still left. Oh, but ninja and mouse? Give five times more when they're adjacent to each other. So if we get a mouse eating something and a ninja next to it, boom, we're going to the moon. Yeah. I'm like kind of tempted. Let's do it. We need to find a ninja, but like it's very cute too. Mm -hmm. More cheese. More Easy. cheese needed. <laughs> Please eat. Hey. Yes. The cheese eating has begun. Beautiful. We could take a rabbit fluff for the... Yeah. The, yeah. I'm in it. Multiplier there is pretty agree. damn good. I feel like you just like need to find some uncommons and rares to define your build, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you just take the void stone then since it's some value? Yep. I think that's worth. And has... Yeah, it gave us two right there. I kind of wanted to blow itself up. Matryoshka? Our previous run was to... the Matryoshka one, right? Yeah, it, it didn't make it all the way, but we like wanted to. All caked up on gold at the moment. Maybe we take a Matryoshka. Yeah, I like it. Just looking for a ninja and mm -hmm. maybe more farming things. Skip. Yeah, definitely. I don't think we need it, right? There's no strong tie to any of those. We don't have any like spirits synergies. Mm -hmm. Which seems to be a thing. How are we so far ahead? Just luck. Oh, we ate all of the cheeses. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we destroyed all three of them. So that's 45 just from the, the mouse having done so. And we have, you know, the, the farmer yeah. itself was doubling a lot of other things. Yeah, that's true. I think I, we just I found like enough high value here. Good here. Yeah, let's do that. If we were behind, maybe it's the wolf. Oh, God. There's the lucky cat. Lucky, lucky cat. And we have the second What's one. It's clear sky. Clear sky is uh, suns and moons affect non-adjacent symbols as well. That's pretty cool. If if you know if we already had the sun, that's like that that makes your whole flower build right there. Yeah. But isn't it just the lucky cat though? Yes, definitely. Right. Like we're gonna see so many uncommon and, and rare now. <laughs> Whoa, chef. Any food stuff gives the two. Oh more. wow, it's just a multiplier for food things. Okay, and we already have a farmer. I'm about it. Look at that. Hell yeah. We're starting to, starting to really make waves here. I don't think we need any of these, though. Uh, yeah, there's a world where you take the safe and then just try to break it, but yeah, I don't. Because there's a key in the common pool, I noticed. Mm -hmm. Seed, I guess. Maybe had we taken the key earlier, just as a speculative mm -hmm. pick, that's a lot easier to take there. But last time yeah, we took a yeah. lockbox, we didn't even break it, I don't think. I think Peach is okay here. Yeah, actually. it's food stuff and farmer wants it, and so does the chef. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The double double. <gasps> oh value. my. <laughs> the value. Um, is it just cheese? We We're don't have any sevens mouse. yet. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We're still looking for a ninja. You're, they're out there. Your rent is due. Oh, Landy McLandlord, you better believe I'm ahead of the curve this time. Yo. The rare martini. Is the chef possibly going to be keen on the martini? Yeah, the chef Interested. will double yep. the martini. Yep. Sure. Shaken, not stirred. I learned, well, I want to focus on this run. If, if I remember at the end of the run, I'll tell the story about that. All animals and NPCs add a spirit when they're destroyed. Shrine. That's, that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of sad <laughs> there's something beautiful like, about it as well though it is kind of it's kind of beautiful at the same time the, it, the, the size of the card is intimidating mm -hmm. it's got some heft to it uh, I agree you know on second blush more beautiful but the thing is is that when are we destroying NPCs we haven't exactly. taken a hex of destruction and we probably won't we're trying to build a more tight build right so mm -hmm. if this was the first run that shrine is looking nice but I think I might even honestly just go middle here. Yeah, that's I'm actually quite keen right? on that. And just click it and see if it gives us anything relevant. And if it doesn't, skip it, doo dah. Plus, they're not even commons because we have the multiplier from the cat. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we take any of these, though. I agree. I, I like skipping here. Ooh, that's, that's the second chemical seven that's out. Maybe we take it. Yeah, I mean, it's an uncommon, so we're more likely to find yeah. them now. Yeah. 
and that <gasps> might be the. Did we get a? Did we get a double proc? We got the martini proc. Nice. So much money. I guess item capsule is okay, and we can yeah. decide if we want the thing. It was oh. a jack o' lantern. Toddlers and candy give two times more. <laughs> In another world. Let's skip. Yeah. I think we. I think we know where we're going this time, which is really delightful. It's good enough now that we can stay focused on it and just try to get as many items as possible, or rather symbols, but also items. Mm -hmm. You also get the white pepper, gain three whenever you gain a multiple of three after a spin. A multiple? Oh, yeah. I see, I see. The amount of money that we make. Ah, uh, right, right. right. That makes sense. Um, I think we... 30% chance to make an adjacent symbol gives it... <sighs> Man, Ugh. these hexes are rough. The hexes, yeah, they they are pretty rough, man. I wonder if there's a hex synergy, like oh, like there's a warlock or something. Mhm. Mm something like that seems quite likely. Because otherwise, some of them are just so purely negative that it seems tough to take. Wine still getting two times multiplied by the chef. True. Um, but we'll never go for dwarves because then the dwarves are going yeah. to destroy the wine and the martini. Yeah. I might just take another influx in either buffing or wealthy capsule here. Let's do it. Like those are kind of free items to take, it feels. And every once in a while they could get multiplied by like an arrow or something if we take that. Mm -hmm. Oh, more rabbit fluff? Yo. Yo. Come on. The only uncommon and rare items build? I'm I'm about it. Let's do it. They just give you a higher base as well, so it makes it easier for us to be skipping other things as well. Speaking of Speaking of. of <laughs> fruit basket incredible they yeah. get multiplied <laughs> yes that's it's what we're doing it's what you're hearing oh man we almost got the double double there too if the farmer were one to the left mm -hmm. so okay so so it, and and I, not to not to take the floor no do but it my brain just split in half instantly because we want to be making fruits this mm -hmm. time this is this is the the farming run except we want fruit instead of flowers before it was flowers instead of fruit right mm -hmm. so rain is is still good for us but also bronze arrow is one more thing that can potentially multiply a high value fruit mm -hmm. I feel like either of them is better than skip right or do you agree I I, I agree I lean more towards the bronze arrow uh, just okay. because it feels like seeds <sighs> we would have to find like Flower removal, maybe? It also feels like the seeds yeah. grow by themselves already. We don't need the yeah. top line of the rain. Yeah. It would be cool to get, like, a goat that only eats seeds. Such a goat does not exist because they eat everything, but in theory. 12? Yeah, that orange was worth 12. <laughs> I think that's our highest roll so far, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. We've had stuff that's worth, like, 15, but it's eating something. Yeah, exactly. For, like, a permanent symbol on yeah. the board, that's cool. Robin Hood. <laughs> Every four times you spin it, it gives you 29, but it also gives you the and next 16 over the course of that. So that's 15 positive over the course of four spins. And it could get arrowed. Or it could get well it could get like buffing capsuled. You know? Very true. So so I think it's worth. Actually, oh, would we're it we're full up. Would it multiply its negative? Oh, we can take another chemical seven. Hell yeah. Or another orange, I guess. Would it multiply its negative? That's a good question. That would be kind of sad. I think uh, I skip. Yeah, it's too low value. We yeah. like because we're working with multipliers. We want... It it does have the fruit basket bonus of plus yeah. one. But I feel like we want to be taking peaches, oranges, you know, the two and three value fruits at this mm -hmm. point. We're getting oh so God. many uncommons and rares that we can afford to. Twelve. Boom. We're already over the limit. We got one more spin as well. Um, what's our inventory at, if you don't mind? Uh, we have, oh, we have five empties, five empties okay. still. So then in that case, it's at least, it's, you can always take a capsule if you have in, empties. Mm -hmm. It's not going to cause any problems with our income. And then that's just one more per spin. We're still relatively in the early game, right? We're about yeah. just under halfway through. Yeah, yeah. So we have lots of spins. And it, it, I noticed that they started spreading out, right? Did you notice that? It was like six spins and then seven, eight. Mm-hmm for the next payments. So you should have enough time to really capitalize on that a decent amount. Ooh. Oh, plum. <sighs> Rare Churkin is here too, but. Yeah, let's go plum. Just three I feel by like base. We could take just, just a couple more 
fruits, you know? <laughs> Ouch. I guess, like... It's weird, man. The monkeys destroy the things that we want, so probably not that. Cole takes five yeah. less to transform. Probably not. Just gets in our way. Yeah, yeah, but we, like... Is there a limit to how many items we can have? Really? I don't think so, but I think there might be a world where we just hit the skip because we're not going to capitalize on any of these. Just see what skipping these does. Even. Yeah, okay. I'm in. Yeah. See if it has any impact at all. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something unforeseen. Perhaps Ooh! a secret path. Did we? That was our first spin, I think. Robin Hood just went off and got multiplied by the arrow? Oh, wow. Oh, nice, dude. Ooh. Yo. Rabbit fluff would be... This would be our third, and we have the lucky cat. Or there's a lucky capsule here as well. But I feel like if you take rabbit fluff, we're, we are just going to find rare symbols. <laughs> While also true, I am worried about the possibility that those end up in between our combos that we really need. We want the... Uh, where are we? We want the farmer to be adjacent to as many fruits as possible. We want the it's chef true. as many foods. We certainly don't want to swamp the board with with rabbit fluff. Come happier with the lucky and maybe capsule maybe there. two is good enough. Maybe we don't need the third, but the numbers go up. It's true. Ng, do you? <laughs> I think we skip. Yeah. I don't think we need the three of the emerald. Like a two value fruit is a three right now. Kind of that far above the curve at the moment that we can really afford to do things like that. Speaking of gov, uh, speaking of rather, I think we do it again. Speaking of gov, speaking Speak of gov, speaking of gov. Ooh. All right, next Robin spin is going to have an arrow pointing towards it. We're just getting ridiculous money. There's ninja. a ninja. We have one mouse, two mouse. We have no mouse. One mouse. One mouse. Oh, it's there, there in the yeah. second row. And One what, mouse, do, what do we get if they're no side by cheese. side? Uh, they. D d d where are we? It's in the inventory there too. They give five percent, uh, five times rather, more money when adjacent to one another. Oh man, so it's like. Let's do it. I kind of. We should take it to complete. It just, just for the one time it goes off and it'll be adorable. Oh Tonight. my god! No, it. Uh, it rolled afterwards. I thought it was gonna point at this and give me money. Dude, it's too bad. <laughs> More passive lucky. income or lucky? I like lucky. I want to see rare fruits or another rare <gasps> fruit maker. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the peach. So many multipliers. 24. 24. Let's go. Ooh. General Zaroff rare one it, destroys oh my gosh, adjacent there's a use for the shrine. people. <laughs> Gives 15 for each destroyed. <laughs> oh my. But this will kill our Robin Hood. <laughs> yeah, it's not... Well, I mean, it's no, not just Robin Hood chef. chef. Robin Hood farmer. chef. No, farmer. no, we we shan't go there. Tis a silly Ninja place. Do even? we do we need one peach or are we? Yeah, maybe we just go wealthy. I mean, like we're way over the limit. We got two more spins. Yeah. <gasps> They're adjacent. Like... It didn't eat a cheese though. We need cheese. So it'll only be a five and a ten. A five and a ten, but that's pretty good. It still, definitely is. We could. Take the one-off key, but because we might get like a mega chest, mm. since we're seeing so many rares with our. Oh yeah, I guess that is a good point. Right. Let's do it. Let's do We've it. We've got like three empties left or something. Mm -hmm. I think Keep we just got tight, which I think we should. Oh, oh my god, we've got so much money left over after that. I think we also just got our final Matroshka. Yeah, just giving four per. Nice, nice, nice. And that can get multiplied. Okay. A mine! Adds, we don't need it though. Adds ore yeah. after each, destroys itself after giving gold four times. Adds a mining pick when destroyed. That That is just like... It, That's it's, cool. It's the start That's of your cool. day and it's the kiss goodnight. It's everything. <laughs> the alpha and omega of <laughs> precious <Exactly>. metals. <laughs> <gasps> Shedding sees. Wait, oh no! I, I was like, no "Give me the sweet synergy, right?" This never triggers. It not anymore. We're too rich. Uh, we have. We can take reroll. We have one. <laughs> we have one. 
<laughs> relevant <laughs> synergy. <laughs> oh, pointing at the key. Uh, it's just another wealthy capsule. I like that there are so many of these capsule items such that you have the ability to kind of turn things down freely by mm -hmm. still taking value. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And um, speak of the speak of the hustling. I wonder if there's anything that will like make our items make us more money. You know what I mean? Mm hmm We only need one more lucky seven, by the way, for that to trigger. To plum or not to plum? I don't think Excuse we need to plum. Yeah, I'm happy with the amount of uncommons and rares we're seeing. I agree. I think it was wise to skip the third. Card Shark, it's not your day, dog. I mean, we do now have reroll. Mm -hmm. When they mm -hmm. roll less Which... than three, they'll reroll once. Maybe we do just take a five sided die. So it rolls like... again. Is it less than three or equal to or less than three? Less than three. So 40% of the time it rolls again but only on the lower Man. rolls. I feel like I feel like we can skip. Like the numbers that we're getting from our fruits are so high. Mm -hmm. And have the potential to be ridiculously high if we get all of the symbols side by side. It's the second time we've had a one re-roll into a one. I'm not sure this re-rolling thing works. <laughs> There's a lockbox for the key, but it is the lowest mm -hmm. value one they can get. Yeah. We can hold. Yeah, I don't think we need hold it. Hold the line. We're still over by a lot. Yeah. And we got three spins left. Yeah, okay. This is our best run. By, by far. By a long shot. It's interesting because it feels like our first run had some strong synergies, but it was just... It took a long time to get there. And... It's it's mid-game was weak. That's Is that the third time in a row that's happened? Yep. <laughs> I'm not sure that this is working as intended. Uh, yeah, I guess Void Creature will destroy itself. That's just a capsule. Sure. That's a good point. There you go. Pay you up. may have your money. Hey! <laughs> Chemical 7. There we go. Just get a 77. That'll keep us ahead of the curve. Diver is cool here. This is, I mean, yeah. it's not for our build, but... It, it's a it's a way I to like get the, the... permanent the oysters and the pearls out so mm. it's really a capstone for that Ooh. build. yo that's huge because see i think items like these that get permanent value can be a real big part of the end game potentially mm -hmm. that checkered oh, flag checkered looks pretty flag. good with robin hood yeah did we take a magpie this run or that must have been a previous run i believe that was a previous run yes yeah still think it's good still yeah uh so wait which was the one that we took I wanted to check. Robin Hood. Uh, or the Lucky yeah. Seven. Oh, no. Is it, right. I, I was just thinking, oh, we need to activate the Lucky Seven. We don't yeah, need to do that intentionally. It'll just happen. Boom. Nice. And now it's gone. It did its job. My task complete. Okay. The negative four was not multiplied despite the fact that it was directed towards it. So That's good. We've got our confirmation on that one there. Is it time to take the third rabbit fluff? Let's do it. Ooh. But no more than three. No. Three is the limit. Yeah, this is more than enough now. Uh, do we, we go can, for um, all sevens? We can go back to seven town. Sure. Oh, man. I'm waiting to see the multipliers really line up. There must be like a super fruit that we can find. Right? I mean, we'll we'll be able to have a look at any of the super fruits, right? By just inspecting the farmer and seeing what it multiplies. Oh, that's a good idea. Can we do that? So, uh, sorry. Let that lock in. The most super fruit is the watermelon. watermelon. Four, it would be five for us. Strawberry is three. Mm. Apple is three. Plum. So we're looking for okay. apples, strawberries, and watermelons as a priority. Yeah, yeah. And presumably the chef likes those things too? Yep. Yes. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I don't think we need to take any more two fruits, right? We can take the safe for the key. Yeah, I, ca I kind of just want to get the safe and the key off the board at this point. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It'll take them a while to line up, but it'll happen. I wonder what the expected <sighs> spins is. Oh my, dude. Boom. <laughs> Let's go. 
Nah, I don't think so. We've got our one ninja and our one mouse. They're just doing their best. Okay. In fact, I would consider at this point, like, if there was something like a, you know, a beast hunter or something mm -hmm. that would take the bear and the mouse, it might be worth. Yeah, that would be neat, unfortunately. Oh, we did get oh, our lockbox, actually, by the way. Two two rolls. That's really fast. Uh, don't even think we need any of that. Agree. It's not the rain build. I'm waiting for this arrow to just absolutely nail a spin. There's General another Zara Robin Hood. We can take another Robin Hood. We should do it. Yeah. We should do it. We got the, we checkered, do, we got flag. the checkered flag. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, lockpick. Yeah, lock that makes it easiest us... for it to take those. Yeah. It, it can be our solution for the key that you were mentioning earlier, effectively. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. we got the we got the the ninja double. And doubled again outside of that. Uh, nope. Maybe we need more rare increase. Like, it feels like we're mm -hmm. pretty far between from seeing what? rares. Do we, need, do we take another cat? If we take safe, it'll just open. It's 1.3 per cat. It's just how often are we going to find cats by themselves right. now? Right, right. Because if we are only seeing uncommons and above, basically at this point, mm -hmm. which is I think fine. I I think we're looking for more capstone rares. Mrs. Fruit is here, but that destroys them. But sh but then she grows, and this lets us just click fruits. Maybe, maybe it's not bad, dude. Uh, okay. Well, she destroys only up to peach. So actually, she only destroys yeah. the bad ones. Yeah, yeah. And this opens us up to take more super fruits. Okay. Oh, we should do it. And, and we'll get good multipliers while we're going. And 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 then we just click on any fruit at this point, basically. I dig it. Coconut, is that one of the fruits that she will eat? Yes. Oh, cool. But Oh, but it adds coconut shells? halves. Does she eat those? Can she no. eat shells? <laughs> monkey can eat shells, but we don't have monkey. Mm. Monkey. I think then we don't take that coconut. Yeah, this might be the this might be the exception. Why is this? I've I have no clue what day of the year it is, Rhapsody. Hmm. Like we could have been sitting here for weeks playing this game. Teak, totally, we have. totally lost track of time. Teak, it's 2022. Teak, wake up. I, I'm I'm kind of dismayed by the fact that you think it's only 2022. Teak, it's 2040. We are simulations oh my gosh. now. We are currently playing Luck Be a Landlord on Mars. Mm hmm. It's a it it's a good still runs on here. a TI-84 calculator. It's incredible. Same battery. <laughs> it really does seem like it would as well. Oh, so we just take the peach, right? Peach. Because because you just throw things in for Mrs. Fruit to consume. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh, that, that was a safe, though. 31 will do that. <laughs> yeah, but still, it's wild. We're always floating 50% more than we need for the next season as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that you call them seasons. That's nice. <laughs> I think I'm used to Atomicrops when I'm talking about, like, uh, gold. I and... still haven't played that game. It oh, looks so, so nice. It's super, super good. I it, It's a game that, like, I, I routinely check back in with, and there's not that yeah. many games of those on my kind of docket yeah, at the moment. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. New things. I Yo, mean, can I, can I read one? Good. Yeah, please that's, do. I think that's where we're going, right? Dame. Adjacent gems of all type. Give 2x more. Destroys adjacent martinis. Gives 35 for each martini destroyed. I also, there's something really awesome about the wording being destroys adjacent mm -hmm. martinis. Do you like oh. martinis? Oh no, I destroy martinis. I've had a long day. I could absolutely destroy a martini right now. <laughs> oh man. The, Archaeologist uh... would be a way to consume pebbles if we had used a bunch to get to the late game. Mm -hmm. You know? Very, very true. Like Although an another pearl eater, the archaeologist itself seems like a really, really good capstone piece that gives you the ability to mm -hmm. then ta uh, take all the rest of these because yeah. the ore don't blow themselves yeah. up, nor did the big ore. Yeah, yeah. So actually, Dame and archaeologist could work together. That's cool. It's five if every symbol is different. No, gains one whenever a symbol is destroyed. That's I mean, actually not terrible because we're like taking safes and things yeah. sometimes. Oh, and Mrs. Mrs. Fruit is eating fruits, mm -hmm. so it'll work. They go too. We're going to need some more fruits. <laughs> yep. Mrs. Fruit, please. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Leave some for the chef. 
<laughs> we can't we can't make rent. You keep eating all the fruit. I know that we wanted you to come here. Oh no, and banana peels too. We need a way to deal with ban banana peel. Oh. Think about that. We've got eight spins. I don't think we need to just randomly take a void creature. Actually, here. you know what? Yeah, we can skip. That's it's we won't get any more bananas. So we maybe this banana peel just <laughs> is. Yo, nice. Nice. Finally got double. No oh. rain, blind melon. I'm sorry. That's that's a hell of a callback right there. Yeah. Like what what songs are on the playlist alongside No Rain Blind Melon? Because like I'm gonna put out like there's definitely a sublime song in there. Hundred percent. Um There's I have the playlist, I made it. No artist repeat nineties grunge and post grunge. Neat. One headlight. There's why I'm here by Oleander. Yep, one one headlights here. Blister in the Sun, Violet Films, mm. Flag Pulse Sitta, Harvey Danger. Closing My time? Own Worst Enemy, which is lit, not Blink-182. It's lit. What's Which song was that? Is, is Closing Time on there? Closing Time is probably here. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you remember um, Eagle Eye Cherry, Save Tonight? I really yes. love that song, actually. Yeah. There's Might a lot of good dawn, stuff on here. I, I, I can't just sit here and read this whole playlist, but it's <laughs> it's it's nice. When, I, when I'm in the car sometimes, it's a good play. Ooh, double eat right Teak, there as well. Teak, is it content if you just sit and read the songs in your playlist? I mean, <laughs> it, it's it, content. It definitely can be. Also, like, it, it, it kind of explains a little bit of the, the like, oftentimes I will be able to pick up the reference that you are dropping in a, mm -hmm. in a musical sense. There are yeah. definitely ones that are getting past me, right? You don't know what you don't know. Um, you don't know. Well, you make tons of references that go past me. <laughs> but you're so you're such a professional about it that like I don't even have a chance to realize that I'm dumb, which is nice. <laughs> you know, nobody loses, and somebody in the audience won. Yeah, that honestly, there is a part of it that's like there is one person in the audience that's like, "Hey, I see what you oh, did there," and this is for that. Person. I love Ting Sha Rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we skip. Yeah, you don't eat yeah, candy, so yeah. skip. <laughs> this is fruit does not want candy not even slightly another robin rares with a double man that is massive oh we should take the orange yeah i feel like um the these pieces that get permanently better mm -hmm. that must be in-game material right definitely definitely because you've got like a it. base that can get multiplied a couple times that has no cap hey. like right there we just doubled our mrs fruit Got a uh, frying pan as well. So we have the ability to have destroyed eggs that are next to eggs or omelet. Cheese. Oh, right. We're making the omelets. And we could take cheese still because we do still have a mouse. Mm -hmm. So it's, but like, then we have to take eggs too. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a bit harsh to get them as well because they're quite low rarity. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Seven, that's seven, true. seven. Seven. Low rarity, ten so. spins. Nice. Oh, well, we're going to make it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. Stack farmers. Yes. Farmer stack. Huh? Oh. You may destroy yeah, this item and choose three symbols to add the possible symbols up. We can just add a watermelon. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. We, we should do it. And the rarity will be higher than usual because of our other stuff. So pop it. Oh. Okay. It, it's, okay. You're not just choosing. <laughs> uh, well, we, watermelon. Boom, dude. And a play. Yeah, let's go. Oh, dude we got the watermel we've got double farmer too oh Let's... boy oh i guess we can safely add that yeah <laughs> come on watermel get the big numbers show up i want to see that i want to see that like 200 i want the double farmers standing next to one another oh. mm. she consumed the fruit <laughs> watermel is so far aloof like, we can just take a cherry, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, it happened. When did we get a martini? Uh, I think we took it early on because the chef wants martinis as well. Uh, right, right. And it was just a decent amount of money. Mm -hmm. Paid off a couple times. Theoretically, that cheese was takeable, but like, I don't know. Seems yeah. unnecessary, right? Especially right now, what I want to see is that watermel get the the one two three combo uh, do we just take a spirit now that's just four per every time we roll it and it destroys in four spins sure sure and it gets out of the way <laughs> man i'm so hyped on this watermelon 
Even a low roll thrust. Up. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> double farmer, double chef. Watermel city. We just need more food. And it's worth five by base because we have the fruits basket. It's so nice. Oh, <gasps> this watermelon! Ah, yeah. Still pretty good. Yeah. Still pretty good. Yeah, it's 20 on a symbol, man. And, and that's without even... Yeah. Our just our expected value per square right now is so high, mm -hmm. is the thing. Even though we're not getting individual squares that are rolling 200, it's 20, 20, 20, 10, 5, 10, 5. Yep. And that'll uh that'll give us, I think, the final. You've reached oh, we the won. end of the early access version. Congratulations. Your time as landlord was trampled. This time, rather, your landlord was trampled by rabbits. <laughs> Do we want to see when we I die? I kind of do. I kind of want to go endless. I'm so happy that we... GG wraps before G -G. we go. GG. Hey, there's there's the beast master, but not a beast hunter. Do you want another Robin Hood? I mean... Hmm. Pretty good for us, honestly. They're not bad, but mm -hmm. it's still negative 12. So it's, it's positive 17 over four spins. That's, that's less expected value than a fruit gives us now. Well, does it do the negative four on the on the one where it gives you the twenty nine? Uh, no, you're right. So it's negative eight, and so it's plus it's twenty one. Okay, it's a good point. Well made. Game three, if at least three symbols are the same and not, I mean that's just easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one, we're, we're the, pretty much the, there was one that said the ores only add rare or better. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh. <gasps> The doubled Matryoshka doll. Good job. Ooh. So, I, mean, I guess it's buffing chef. capsule. The chef will eat the omelets, though. It doesn't eat them. It just multiplies them. Yes, yes. Sorry, that's true. Uh, do we also have another item that increases the value of omelets? No, the fruit basket does not increase the value of omelets. Okay, fine. I'm all in on this watermel strat. It's Watermelon Robin Hoods. <laughs> Where are we headed? So I'm noting oh, here that we're like constantly getting a yeah exactly like we're we're like maxing out at 100. We're minimuming out yeah. like 60. And we're averaging in like a, a, a 70, 75 kind of situation. It's a really good roll, but it's not really it's not really going up at mm -hmm. this point. We have to figure out how to make it go up. Well, we haven't seen all the rare and very rare symbols or items right so it may be that we're missing some more real like there could be another item that just doubles our value very totally very possible true. fingers crossed to see it agreed oh, 94 still not that bad um i think it's skip I and mean, you can take cheese if you want to if you want to give a chance for the mouse ninja cheese combo to come together no it just seems like we have so many symbols at this point that that's so unlikely yeah i agree Mrs. Fruit is up to a 10. She's, mm -hmm. she's big time. If we had someone else that would just multiply her now. Well, we've got the bronze arrow theoretically, right? But True. yeah. <gasps> what could, what? Ninja goes 20. Wow, nice. Although we also had an orange that was just multiplied by three people standing adjacent to it. So that was really good too. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be the first one that we could theoretically miss. We, I don't think we will, but... We could. It, we're catching. We're getting caught back up. Is is the is the scary bit? Mm -hmm. We've been so far ahead, but exactly. We want to float like 500 after having completed the thousand here in order to be keeping pace with the previous one. Do we just put more rabbit fluffs in to get rarer? Well, the cat does it too, right? Oh, the cat does even a, more as well. 1.3. I might take cat here because like we need we need whatever we're missing. We don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but but we need it. As soon as we find it, we'll know. It's not that. Come on, get me to a thousand. Come on. Come on. Peach. We'll get to a thousand. Always fruits. There we go. God, we are... Woo! It's getting tight. This this one may be yeah. the end of us. 
bartender yeah. has a five well, percent chance of makes adding them. martinis, yeah. but only if, if we, we really have doing dwarves. dwarf things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Another Robin. We Hood? can take another Robin Hood, but like, I don't know, man. It's just like if we take the Robin Hood, maybe we find some other item that's like another checkered flag kind of version, and then yeah. suddenly we're printing money with them. It's true. It's true. Just skipping doesn't do any uh take the birdhouse job get another birdhouse in my soul see that's one that i don't get oh that's they may be giants uh yeah not really familiar with them honestly i'm they mostly might... familiar with they might be giants from um from people talking they could about be them. giants <laughs> perhaps giants <laughs> they are they have considered being giants. Let's hit that extra spin. Oh, that's a lot of multipliers on that peach, though. Yeah, twelve. It's a couple multipliers on that peach, then I guess. It's like it was. It was all so exciting, and we're starting to be like, it's just twelve. I need it to be a hundred and twelve. Mm -hmm. oh, you know what I mean? It's not value unless it's one hundred and twelve. We're getting to that stage to where we really need it to be massive. We, we need to get those 50s, like when we were hitting Robin Hood with the double all the time. What? Adds a gold each spin. Adjacent gold gives three times more. No, this is... That's why is this rare? Really rough. I, I guess if you have enough King Midas, then the golds are multiplying each other or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can have multiple, I guess. It's a fair yeah, point well made. Just maxing out at three? I don't know. The golden egg in there. Does, chef does does, does multiply okay. the golden egg. That's not bad, but I it's it's know. basically a martini for us at the moment, though, right. right? Yeah, it doesn't do anything with the farmer or with Mrs. Fruit. We got to do better. We have to do better. I think mm -hmm. we're past the point to where we're excited to roll a nine. <sighs> the seed became a coconut, so now we have a coconut half in here as well. Ugh. Oh no, we need a way to eat that. This is just skip now as well. Hustling capsule's too late. Maybe we do end up taking a monkey to eat the coconut halves. Oh, the chef is multiplying coconut halves, actually. Mm -hmm. Not it's terrible. Still kind of low value, though. Let's go for the rare, I guess. Sure, sure. Because I don't think this saves us. <laughs> we got to make a thousand in three spins, dog. We're mm -hmm. going to have to see. We're going to have to see some really incredible things happen. This ain't it. What? Oh, we, the symbol, the capsule must have not blown up. Yeah, maybe it didn't spawn on the screen. Oh no, again. I mean, a nice round, right? Like 129 <gasps> golden arrow. <laughs> Four times more. Whoa. Okay, maybe. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Double arrow. Oh no, the farmer didn't have anything, man. <sighs> GG, dude. But we beat the base. That's so good. So we did. That is the uh, early GG. access amount that is currently available, having been completed. Uh, I will also very quickly take the time to say that if you are looking uh, for more information about this game, you can find a link to the Steam store in the description down below. That was fun. It was a great time. That was a great romp. I was it, honestly, I thought we were going to play like 30 minutes and be like, OK, cool. That was the first episode of I keep having this this mouth, this cursor on me. I'm going to grab it. I thought I thought we were going to do like <laughs> 30 minutes of it and then just say, oh, that was good. But I think we played for a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. We're uh, 2, 203. And ev it, it, it definitely capitalizes on that kind of like, you know, just one more run. Uh, the just next one, one will run. go yeah. off yeah. kind of situation. I'm, I'm very glad as well that we managed to finish it with a, uh, a success in the current early Super access. Cool. You know oh. what I really like about that format? What? My, my one big... I. I find that I try to do the learning and then the meta learning, right? Is that not only, we talked about how you can get a kind of a meditative state in games like this with lower macro, my, micro rather, with lower mm -hmm. micro. And it's easier to just do one more run because, you, because you're because you more likely to die. The runs are a little faster. You know what else that kind of gameplay does? It makes it really comfortable to experiment. Mm. Games that are gonna last for many, many, many hours, it can be scary to do yep. science because you're like, well, yeah, but it's going to make me lose, right? When you're playing Darkest Dungeon and you're going into DD1 at 80 hours in, do you really want to experiment? You're not going to experiment at that point. You're just going to do the thing that you think is strong, right? Mm -hmm. But in this game, it, you want to try to force Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? 
go to town, you know? What's the worst thing that happens? You, you just lose. You start another run. Exactly. It takes you, what, five minutes, and then you just go in again and do it again? Do the next thing. I, yeah. I, I've had games that the idea of not being able to experiment has actually just prevented me from playing them. Like, yeah. this is a three-hour game. If I'm you make out. a mistake in the first 30 minutes, you will lose, and then you'll watch yourself yeah. lose over the next two and a half hours. And I'm like... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The, you, you've lost, but not yet. That's painful. Mm -hmm. You Now you have to, like, suffer through it. Yeah. Exactly. And the gating of, like, the, the rent increasing and obviously the, the mm -hmm. sp fairly few spins between them at maxed out at yeah. 10 uh, means that if you have lost and you realize you've lost... Mm you're still like three minutes away from a new run so it's fine it's it's not disheartening or demoralizing in any way it's like a reverse checkpoint system it's like a death point instead mm. of get here to save your progress it's this is another opportunity for you to lose so that you don't have to lose slowly that's that's cool yeah i hadn't thought about that until you brought it up oh well that uh, death pointing you heard it here first that has been luck of a landlord luck of the land luck be luck a landlord be they might be landlords. <laughs> exactly. Are we <laughs> landlords? Luck be one. That's, uh, GG. That's, that's not going to be the title of the episode, but were I bold <laughs> enough to go against SEO, it would be GG Teak as well. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say that uh, the, the description will have a playlist that is probably going mm. to have its name changed a couple times as we eventually land on the correct name for the series. Uh, we'll but find it. that is the playlist you will be able to watch all of the episodes of this kind of experimental format in. In the description, you'll also be able to find a link to Sneaky Teak's channel over on twitch.tv slash Sneaky Teak, as well as the YouTube channel. In the moment, though, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.